We're doing silence. None of that was uh, was audible. We're doing silence. Okay, so at least I figured that much out. I'm getting the hang of this streaming thing. You see, it's uh, you know, one of these months, I'm gonna have everything ready on time instead of scramble in the last ten minutes to make sure everything is working. That's my plan. So, let's see if I can very covertly... Yep. Okay. Now, let's uh, update the stream. Or not the stream, but... You know. Upload the video to YouTube. So that six people can see that it happened and not click the link and not come to the stream. Very important. We don't want to miss out on that. Think of all the lost opportunities. I can barely fathom them. So where is streaming standard Mozart? There it is. There's there's the file I want. I apologize, I'm a bit late. I mean, I'm technically on time, but I feel late. www.twitch.tv slash pale voyager bingo bango and with any luck bongo okay hey charwolf thanks for that one bit you know what I appreciate that I appreciate it one bit. It's a bit it's a bit weird to say that unless you're talking about how you don't appreciate something. Like I don't appreciate that one bit. But if I said that to you, I'd be lying. I'll take it. Bring me your sheltered and your huddled bits. I'll post a link on uh on Fachi Book as well. I am streaming demons. Perfect. I'm a professional. And I also uh, reset my router, so hopefully we won't get interruptions every time we uh, we talk to the uh, the maiden in black. Fingers McFlippin' crossed. We uh, we stand for internet stability in this household. And uh, that's what it's about. So, now, if I may begin, I will. I actually won't. I need to stall for a few seconds longer. No, don't, don't give me notifications. I don't need notifications. We don't need that. Okay, I'm set. I'm set now, for real. I'm actually set, so I'm moving my character around. So, the stream has begun. Now, here we are in Demon Souls as Madame Pekojiker 2. Now, a bunch of things have developed since the last time. Boy, oh boy, have they ever. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. So, um, since the last streams, we have finished World 1-1, World 1-2, World 2-1, World 2-2, World 3-1, World 4-1, World 5-1, and World 5-2. That is a lot of progress. We don't have a whole lot left. Uh, but something went wrong very early on, in the beginning of the stream. I killed two bosses in World 1, and it didn't change the character tendency to pure white. And I couldn't understand why, because it should. Because killing two bosses in any of the other worlds brings it to pure white tendency. And so I was a bit disturbed by that it, it bothered me quite a bit and i attributed it to uh to server shift which doesn't exist anymore that's not a thing on the ps5 that is a misnomer it's a myth it's an unsolved mystery dean kane will be will be you know djing a whole thing about it so what i did was realize something i realized i didn't kill the dragon and that was on purpose i even said on stream killing this dragon takes forever it's like it's like 150 arrows you just every time it swoops in you shoot one arrow the whole process takes 20 minutes and it would be incredibly boring to stream 
Uh, and because I didn't kill that dragon, I didn't get the pure white tendency. That was the missing piece. So, off stream, I killed that flippin' dragon. As you can see on the left, the world tendency is pure white now. That's what that symbol means. And that also means that we can go get the gear set that we were supposed to get at the beginning of this hoopla. So, that's, that's what it's about. But first, I farmed up 100,000 souls. You can see them up there. And I'm going to spend these bad boys. I'm going to spend them right now without any hesitation. So I'd like to spend the mostly... How many points can I spend? So I can get magic up to 28. That seems pretty nice. That seems like a pretty nice amount of souls. Uh, but we don't want to spend all of it because we want some souls to, uh, to upgrade and, and such. And this is a beat uh, you can't touch. So I'm thinking maybe 26 would be good. And then we'll put the other another point into intelligence and we'll slowly inch it towards uh 24 i think any any souls that we gain this time around we're going to uh we're going to stick into intelligence and uh that does two things it increases our max mp which we want to be able to cast more spells but also it increases our magic memory as you can see here if i were to undo these and move them over magic memory suddenly becomes four we want to get it up to five and that requires uh, taking intelligence up to 30 but we're not too worried about it right now since we're not using a whole lot of different spells at this moment so first things first get magic up to 25 uh we'll put two points into intelligence and uh no wait we had magic at 26 right put one point into intelligence and that's that's going to be that boom 80,000 souls down the drain. We're now level 55 and feeling a bit more confident about ourselves. But it doesn't stop there. No, sir. No, no, no. No, 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 as they say in French sometimes. Uh, we're going to go to World 2-1. 2-1 is where the blacksmith is. We're going to do something about this Uchigatana. We've been struggling with the Uchigatana. We've been wanting it to, uh, to scale with magic. Scale with, in, uh, with intelligence, I believe? No, magic. One of, one of those two stats. Scale with one of those. And uh, there was a lot of uh, consternation. There was a lot of making uh, constipated noises about whether to go with moon or crescent. Moonlight stone or moon shade stone. And at the end of that stream, we kind of came to the conclusion that we want moon shade stone upgrades. But that's not true. We don't. We don't want that. That was... That was a lie concocted what by the Illuminati. Be, be what we want is moon, moonlight. So we're going to take this Uchigatana right here that I've uh, upgraded in preparation, and we're going to make it into a moon Uchigatana. So we've done that, and we're going to upgrade it to a level 2 moon Uchi Uchigatana, and then upgrade it again to a level 3 moonstone Uchigatana. Now, All done. everyone's gone. That's fine. He'll be back. So we have the uh, the Moon Uchigatana. We've got a uh, Steel Shield. We've got the Chris Blade, and we've got the Silver Catalyst. We've got a few things that we want to do this time around on things, and this is just the start. So I'm gonna spend uh, the rest of my souls on consumables. Oop! Almost missed my uh, almost missed my spot. My stop. Holy potatoes, I have had such a day. Goodness me. It's lucky I'm even here. So we want to go back to the Nexus. And we can get rid of uh, Enchant Weapon, I think is what it's called, because that no longer works. Because now the weapon scales with magic. And uh, the, the number is actually pretty nice. Let me, let me equip the other Uchigatana, and you can see the difference uh, on the stat page here. So we've just changed what was uh, damage of two, or sorry, of 176. That was what the Uchigatana plus six is doing, 176 damage. Now it is doing 288 damage, and that's not just physical damage, that's magic damage as well. So that is, uh, that is pretty nice. We're, we're not mad at that. Uh, what did I have in this slot before? Crumbs. I had something in here. What did I have in here? Oh, that crisp blade. Right, right, right. Okay. Yes, indeed. So, the first thing we want to do is buy some consumables, you know, to uh, prepare for all of the uh, the boners this game is going to make us eat. And what the... F okay. 
Patches is gone. Patches is not here. So I, I have a suspicion. We we ran into into him in two two, and he he, uh, he set us up a trap, and now he's gone. So I actually know why. I think I hope. So we're gonna go to four two, the other place where he uh, he messes with you, and see if he's there. And with any luck, he will be. And this will also give me a chance to uh, to try out my spell. I forgot to unattune enchant weapon, but we'll get there. So, we've not done 4-2 yet. We keep coming back here, but uh, don't worry. Don't worry, me. <laughs> People keep leaving. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Right in the butt. That's, that's, not, that's not what we want. But it's okay, it worked out. Moonshade Stone. We may as well just use another one of these. And let's go see what's going on over here. Is he here? He is. He is here. Okay. What what a guy. Oh, hello again. Hey, don't turn a cold shoulder. I didn't mean to do you wrong, really. Come on uh -huh. now. We've got better things to fret about. That pit there is filled with treasure. But uh, I'm having a little trouble getting to it myself. Uh, go on, take a look. There are more riches than you could dream of. <laughs> I do like riches. I know this is some BB, but go ahead. Do your thing. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I just broke my arm, but okay. Take your time starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket of your corpse. <laughs> how dare you, sir? Number one, how dare you? Number two, I'm calling the police. Number three, joke's on you. I've already been down here. So there's there's like nothing. It's not a problem. I can just run back upstairs. What a goober. Hey Frenchie, welcome welcome to the stream. Uh there's nobody here. Try not to mess up any of the cobwebs or crickets in here. I have them exactly how I want them. Y you? Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, a, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Have this as a token of my friendship. All right, I will. What Not is it? bad, right? Give it up. Gash resistance ring. It's uh, it's completely useless to me. Thanks a lot, Patches. Big appreci. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted in here. I need Patches. Actually, he's he's one of the best consumable vendors in the game. So, we need him back. Welcome to the stream, Bork. Happy to have you here, as always. Uh, we're just gonna quickly get back to the Nexus here, but not before uh, showing off. The upgrades we made. Yeah, pretty much dead in one one backstab. That is fancy. And then two more hits for the kill. That extra magic damage is such a big deal. I'm so happy about it. So while I was all by myself, I upgraded my uh, my katana to do magic damage. And uh, I leveled up some, some stuff, so now I do magic better. All in all, it was a magical time. We're almost ready to start making more progress. We just have a few more things on the bucket list to go over. So I should be able to buy some consumables now. I was desperately low. I plan on streaming for three hours. That's usually how long I go. Uh, can I afford a level up? I don't think I can. I cannot. Okay, I well. Forget you, lady. Well, Let's spend it on doodads. So we want some more half moon grass. Let's buy ten. And then I'll spend the rest on fresh spice. Perfect. And what's left over? Enough for more grass. Nice stuff. Very nice. So, oh, another thing happened uh, while the stream was not going. Um, I went back in and fought for the old monk. I'll do I'll do it on stream a few times as well, a little bit later. But I got myself a new hat, and so this is our hat now. 
This is it. We're at the uh, we're at the apex of fashion, and uh, and ready to get going. We're just about we're just about complete. So let's head to the gates of Bolataria. So I got the world tendency to pure white. Oh, damn. Sounds like you're getting it from all sides, Frenchie. Now the gate is open. All it took was killing a dragon that I, I told the stream I was too lazy to kill to open that gate. And now it's there. And now we can, uh... Now we can make... We can make Boom Boom. It's a crystal lizard. We don't let those escape. These guys have opinions. Ow. 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 Okay, these are, these are, these are valid opinions. Wow. I'd really not, I don't want to die. Not to these. Big, big sad if I die to these. Let's try this again. <laughs> Why? I have a big stupid sword. Why isn't it working? Okay. Hey, Dikitty, welcome to the stream. You missed a whole lot already. I've only been streaming for 16 minutes, but you've already missed the world. The entire dang world. Hey, Joe, welcome to the stream. So just a quick little recap. If you recall, I complained about the, uh, the gate not opening, the world tendency not being pure white. It was actually that red dragon that I said I was too lazy to kill. That was the missing piece. So I killed it off stream, and now we can get in here. And uh, everything is about to be cash money and Gucci all the way around. So, I got the monk's hat. I got my Uchigatana to, to scale with magic now, so uh, I don't need enchant weapon anymore. It just does magic damage on its own. Things are finally starting to turn up Millhouse around here. And uh, we're just going to get that armor set that I wanted to get earlier. With any luck. Nipples crossed. Oh, yep, there she is. This is Executioner Meralda. She is a situation. But not for long. Get at me, Meralda. Ow, she got at me. Okay, that hurt. There we go. That's right. There you go. Just a little bit of that. Okay, so we have the binded set. Beautiful. We can start putting things on our body now. Binded cross, the binded gloves, and the binded boots. Now we look the way we want to look. Like an absolute psychopath. Perfect. That's it. That's what we needed. And now we fat roll. So that that is a problem. Because I didn't put any points into endurance. But I have a solution. Uh, it's going to take a little bit for me to, uh, to solve it. <laughs> but it can be done. And it will be done. I'm hoping to beat 3-2 today. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a lot more progress than that. But, uh, you know, don't count, your, uh, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Is the thing. So, let's see. Let's see about dropping down here. Can we? We can. Everything's going your way right now. Yeah. It's not the way the day started, but it's certainly the way things are going. There's a colorless demon soul. We absolutely want one of those. That is the truth. Now, let's see if we can slowly but surely... Oh, no. Nope, slowly but surely inch our way to the next drop without breaking every bone in our body. Beautiful. And we can just drop off from here. Lovely. Uh, this is the brushwood set. This is the heaviest set in the game. You can get mad, mad defense from it. But good luck being able to dodge anything. I'm not going to use it, but you know, I may as well pick it up. The main thing I wanted was the binded cross set and the colorless demon soul. That is going to come in handy very soon. But we do have a bit of business before we leave uh, Bolotaria. 
Let me get back up out of here. I'm so happy that I figured this out. It was bothering me. It was bothering me a lot. I couldn't wrap my mind around why it wasn't pure white tendency after two boss fights. Like, I just couldn't figure it out. And I mentioned a few times that I thought it was server re uh, shift, but I read that that doesn't exist. Hey, Frenchie, you're almost at the end, man. Just squeeze your butt cheeks together and you know, take a bunch of deep breaths, and you'll get, to, you'll get there. You'll get there. Hey, if you fall asleep, you fall asleep, Dikitty. It's fine. I mean... It'll break my heart, but you just you do what you got. <laughs> you do what you got to do. Oh, the fat rolling is just disgusting. I guess I should probably heal up a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the dragon's roost. The dragon's roost. Look at that. Now that we do magic damage, we don't even have to worry. They're squeezed tight. That's what I want to hear. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you. You tank like five hits and takes zero. Well, this is the first, like, this is the very first area. So, uh, every time you level up, no matter what stat you put the level into, you gain a little bit of defense. The higher level you are, the more damage mitigation you're looking at. And this is area 1-1. One, one. I'm, I'm backtracking a little bit for some stuff that I, I couldn't get before. Excuse me, sir. And there may come a point where I turn Show Helmet off, just because of how ridiculous this big stupid thing is. It does kind of obstruct my, uh, my line of sight. Just a bit. But the reason I'm wearing it is because it, it gives you a rather large increase to magic damage. So, you know, why not? I'll do my best to clear this bridge. There's no dragon. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Louise. There's no dragon, mostly because I killed it. But also, because the pure the, the world tendency is still pure white. Uh, killing Executioner Meralda actually moved the world tendency back to neutral, but that won't take effect until I leave for the Nexus. So as long as I stay in this world, in this instance, the world tendency changes will not apply. How dare you. And so I figure, why not take the opportunity to go down to the dragon's roost? Uh, the, the red dragon's dead, but the blue dragon is still alive. And, uh, just, uh, you know, just grab some goodies. Just grab some of the goodies there. And who knows? Maybe one of those goodies will solve this fat rolling problem I'm dealing with right now. You never know. You never know. I actually know. That's what's called foreshadowing. So, we've got some full moon grass, no complaints there. We've got a purple flame shield, no need for that. Some pop souls. A flame resistance ring, and a ring of great strength. Now, this ring of great strength is going to have to replace the fragrant ring for a while. But, the shadows of the four demand that we raise our equipment weight limit. So this brings us back below 50%. So now, I can fast roll. I've given up the very slight MP regeneration that the, the Fragrant Ring gave, but, uh, you know, that's just, uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. So now I think we are ready to go. Actually, wait, we have one more errand. One more errand. Uh, ooh, Archstone, perfect. That actually will save me the run back. So we can return to the Nexus from here. And now you can see that the world tendency on uh, Archstone of the Covetous King, the one on the far left, is back down to neutral. Which is fine. We've done all the white tendency events there. We got the gear. We got everything we wanted. Uh, it is... Copacetic. So now we go into world 4-1. And we didn't really explore this world all that much because uh, I wanted to run straight to the boss. We'll be taking our time a bit more this time. Doing a bit more exploration. So we're feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. 
These skeletons before were uh, were quite a pest, and now they just they fold in half. Sir, what's uh, what's going on with you? What's your story? Okay, we're looking pretty great. I guess one thing we might want to deal with is uh, is that big galoot, because he sure is a galoot. You look you look him up in the dictionary. Whoops, that's a that's a Hall of Fame galoot right there. Top brass, S plus rank. Gonna deal with a bit of the peanut gallery that we've got up here. Deal with these two. Now, can I reach the one shooting me from over there? I don't believe I can. So we're just going to have to suffer him. But that Vanguard demon is going down. Like there's no, there's no chance I'm leaving him without a, uh, a tight spanking. We stand that. So we're probably going to get the. Uh... Oh, okay. We're probably going to get the doodads up there shooting uh, their tentacles at us. Actually, hang on. Let's let's try something. It's already too late for the archer. He already knows about us. But why don't we take? No, you know what? I don't. I don't feel comfortable with it. Let's just go in. Let's just go in and spam some spells. Hello, Vanguard demon. Yep, yep, do what you gotta do. I feel you. I understand. That that sure is something. You know, they just don't make them like they used to. Yep, I know. Kids these days have no respect. Yep, I know, I know. Smokes used to cost a nickel. It's it's you know the, the it's it's a shame what they're doing to the to this economy. I couldn't agree with you more, Vanguard Demon. Truly. Just uh, just one of those things. All right, so we did we did that. We absolutely committed that crime, and uh, I won't tell anyone if you don't. So we still got the uh, the manta rays in the sky firing their uh, their love darts at us or whatever, <laughs> whatever that's supposed to be. But uh, we're not we're not gonna fret it. Hang on, there's there's one more uh, one more thing I forgot to do. <laughs> I don't look. I don't know how they mate. I just know that what whatever that is is a problem, and it's not a problem that I intend to solve just yet. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, we're gonna cross this bridge. Which I suppose I should have done earlier. So this is where I did that shortcut, where I uh, kind of cheesed the game a little bit. Mia culpa. I'm a bad boy. But I was feeling some stress. Alright, so we have a copper key. That was important. Now we can continue uh, exploring 4-1 a bit. Um, there's two major points of business that I have in this area. And it's all for the good of our future. I hope you'll, uh, you'll exercise patience with me. So over here, did I not get it or did I already get it? Um, uh oh. Is it a different one? <laughs> oh, great. Uh, okay, I'm going to check another tree. If not, I'm going to have to run back to the Nexus. We started out so clean. We started out so clean, and then, then it had to go down like this. It may be in my storage. I think I may have picked it up on the previous stream. I'm looking for a Talisman of God. Hey, six people. I appreciate everyone that's here. Thank you very much for giving me your time. I will give you my sweat, blood, and tears. 
not necessarily in that order or that form, but a promise is a promise. What am I supposed to do? What if you just want tears? Uh, I mean, you know, we could, we could work okay. something out. I'm keeping a close watch Welcome to the stream, armor-plated gecko. I appreciate that you're here. Uh, we don't need all this aged spice, okay? We're, it's not that kind of stream. I just want to make that very clear. We can put that away. Now, put these away too, I guess. What I'm looking for primarily, there it is. Talisman of God, get over here. You have a heart of gold. I know, I know, I'm, I'm delicious. So, back into 4-1. We weren't done in here, but unfortunately I'm going to have to kill all those dudes again. You know, and that's, uh, it's too bad for them, really. Because I've got it going on. I've got the business. The Vanguard Demon doesn't respawn, at least. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, he rolled past it. What a guy. Okay, back on track. So we got a copper key. We don't want to we don't want to forget about that copper key. That is kind of a big deal. So we'll go down here. And let's see here. Go over here. Passed it from the three cred. Yeah, you know. Don't want to keep getting shot by arrows. This is a secret wall. Oh, come on. Don't don't be like that. Whew. Okay, what's... Okay, yes. So the copper key can open this door. That's what we wanted to do. And inside... You... You saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you, huh? I'm Blige, a grave robber. It's thanks I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? And now we have, uh, we've got Grave Robber Blige. I guess since we saved him, he's obliged. I'm here, I'm here for three hours. You're welcome. Uh, I've got nothing I want to buy from him right now, though. So, but, you know, he's, he's, he's been rescued. That's what's important. At the end of the day, we saved a human soul. <laughs> Look, I never, I never said that things were going to be good. I just said that they were going to be there. There's another hidden wall with more enemies behind it. These guys are like cockroaches. They get into everything. Just take a hike, Mike. Pop a few more. A few more grasses. But, you know, I'm giving you the full experience. I mean, I, it's possible you felt robbed in the last stream where I just kind of ran past everything and didn't uh, didn't do the area and, and what kind of streamer would I be if I if I left you high and dry stranded with your britches it's the hat isn't it I don't remember if there was a character like this in Bloodborne, but in all the other Dark Souls games, there is. So this is Sparkly the Crow, and you can drop Sparkly items, and uh, in return she'll give you stuff. So uh, I'll be coming here a few times, but for now, we're just going to drop the Talisman of God. Sparkly, happy, happy. Pump Pickle Pea, exactly, you know what to do. So now we exit the game. And we jump right back in. We just do a bit of a jump. Oh, good old Silky the Crow. Okay, and so now we have another colorless demon soul. Okay, calm down, lady. Now that is what in, in show business we call maximum pee-pee. 
So there, right here, is a uh, crystal lizard. We're not going to let that go by. There we go. Moonshade stone. We don't really need that, but it's fine. It's okay. Your kindred? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The gecko had to go. Man, now I feel guilty. I, you know, I... I'll pour one out. I wish I could offer a proper apology, but I'm gonna do it again. Okay, light arrow, comp compound longbow. Those are cool. And let's move a little bit further into the level. I'll see everything that, that we missed. I hate those things. They really are trouble. I feel like Demon Souls is a lot more calm than Bloodborne. Bloodborne is very, like, intense, and there's constantly stuff like trying to have your face off. And, you know, in Demon Souls, it's a bit more chill. A bit more chillsville. There certainly are some places that are a bit more intense. I don't even know what to say about this guy. Ow, jeez. He's having... Jeez! He's having a day. Code Bane is more extreme? Yeah. Okay, let's just deal with this really quick. And there's a red one. Come on. Let's go. Oh, he actually got me. Didn't think he had the reach. The next Fast and Furious movie featuring rolling skeletons. I'd watch it. I'd watch it if Vin Diesel played all the skeletons. <laughs> if he was each one of each one of them. Alright, get out of here. You googly eyed dope. Okay, that's a that's a pressure plate. So let's step on it. Okay. We don't want uh we don't want any of that. We don't want any of that business. And over here is... Okay, some pop souls, sure. I'll accept that. Pop souls are uh, great for lazy people. And I am one. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. If you wear a thief ring, these things won't shoot their stuff at you. But I just, I don't, I can't afford it. I can't afford to give up fast roll or the extra HP. And so I must suffer the slings and love darts of outrageous fortune. Walk through a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. Now, uh, there's, there's a few more goodies before we hit the end of this, of this area. One or two more, at least. I wish these guys would get a hobby. That would make me happy. Uh, what can we do here? I guess we walk along these planks. There's a grave robber ring. That ring is pretty good if you get invaded. Uh, if you wear it, the the draw distance to you is uh, cut short for the uh, invading player. So they, they don't notice where you are until they're basically right up against you. And uh, that gives you quite an advantage. Oh. I don't think I'm going to get that one in time. Nope. I was too slow. Sonic the Hedgehog is rolling in his grave. But I imagine Armor-Plated Gecko is pleased, so there's at least that. Welcome back, Frenchie. You are the salt of the earth. I'll get you a cape. So we're just about done here. We got this guy. Come on, fella. There we go. Okay. I think that went alright. I think that went okay. So this is the boss chamber. We fought the uh, the adjudicator in here. He had a big big sword stuck in his tummy and you know, we, we uh 
We killed his Francis Bird Morgan about it. So now, we can finally return to the Nexus and make some actual progress. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, I mean, is it overkill or is it being thorough? You know, if you want the job done, you gotta, you gotta do it correctly. After this thing I'm doing here, we will move forward. I know I've said that like seven different ways, but this time I mean it. I can only stall for so long. I have a good feeling about it, though. <laughs> fake, fake news. I apologize. Oh, you're saying fair. Well, it's both. Let's be honest with ourselves. Okay, so we got those colorless demon souls, and those are for special weapons, for unique weapons. And the Chris Blade is one such... Uh, unique weapon. And so, um, it's not really going to show up the difference. It says it's going to add magical damage, but that's not really what's happening here. Uh, there are some hidden values going on. This is actually going to increase the damage our spells do so long as this blade is equipped. So we only had two colorless demon souls to work with, but that's good enough for right now. So now we can finally move forward. I'm pleased to announce. And we don't even have to return to the Nexus to do it. I kind of feel like we should because we have quite a few souls. But you know what? Bravery. It's time to be brave. We're going to go... We're going to continue through the Tower of Latria. Uh, we did the Prison of Hope during the very first stream of, uh, of Demon Souls, A Fumble. And we fumbled our way through it. And I'd like to think that this time it'll be a little bit better. A little bit. So here we go. This is the Tower of Latria. I don't really know what the purpose of this place is. It exists above the prison. But it and the prison are two of the most, like, foreboding, uncomfortable areas in this game. They're very spooky. Lots of places where you can fall. Lots of uh, still things coming to life and attacking you. It's not a great time. Not to mention the boss fight is probably for me, yeah, probably for me, one of the hardest boss fights in the game. So I may, I may very well end up uh, having a bit of a struggle trying to beat it, but I will do my best. I mean, you know, come at me, bro. Let's go. Oh, he's still alive. Hot potato. Get out of here. Did you see in Discord this morning I'm getting my PC Friday? Oh, no, I didn't see that. That's awesome, dude. Great to hear that. What kind of PC is it? Tell me about it. Oh. Peanut butter and nope. Uh, yuck. That seems to be a giant heart pumping. We don't like that. Maybe we can do something about it later. Let's see here. I'm in trouble. Please recommend this message. You bet, Buster. Lenovo Legion Tower. I'm assuming that's good. <laughs> I'm showing myself to be a little bit of a noob. Uh, it sounds like uh, it sounds like you know what you're doing, though. Okay, let's see here. What does this say? Focus, you're right. Should be more uh, task oriented. There's a staircase over there, but I can't get past this ventricle, this uh, this cockle that's in my way. And uh, we don't we don't want to mess too much with cockles. Gargoyles dropping in out of nowhere. Bunch of pelicans, get out of here. Goofy looking. Yeah. Oh, this one's got a crossbow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh look at you. Aren't you a fancy pair of pants? You're a dead pair of pants now. I regret to inform you. A gargoyle crossbow. I've actually never gotten that item before. I didn't know that that was a thing. That's cool. What's this? Flamberg. Oh, I'm already full. I should have... I should have dumped back at the Nexus, but... A little late for that now. Here we are. 
in the Tower of Latria. Latria reminds me of Latrine. It kind of reminds me that this place is like a toilet. It's good normal price would be $1,349 Canadian before taxes, and you got it for $900. So wow, not bad at all. Good going, Frenchie. Well, we'll just muddle our way through here. How many how many spells does it take to get to the center of a gargoyle? Come on down, buddy. One, two. Well, that's not the worst. I'd buy that for a dollar. Did he drop a thing? He did. So we're in uh, we're in toilet tower, and uh, ooh. try to get that. Hopefully, I don't fall to my death. Cyber Monday? Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. There's some aged spice. In the PS3 version of Demon Souls, it was called Old Spice. And I'm imagining they had to, uh, they had to change the name. For some reason or another. Who could tell why? It's a mystery to me. Did you, did you really just... Descend on me while I'm climbing stairs. The absolute nerve of this boy. Hi, Valis. I'm looking at you. What, what can I do for you, sir? Oh. Look at me. Back again. I'm on a horse. I'm made of soap. Well, you sure are, uh in the way about it. Oh, he's attacking me. He's just full on hitting me. I didn't pay for that. Well, they sure drop a lot of stuff. I'll give them that. I'm glad we gave ourselves the boosts. I imagine things would be a lot different uh, had we not. Let's see what's up here. I'll tell you guys, there, it was a bit of a struggle last stream. There was some struggling with, uh, with weapons. Okay, so there's no way across this right now. I need uh, Pure White World Tendency to do it, which we will get once we fight the next boss. So it's something to keep in mind. For now, let's deal with these guys throwing their farts into this chalice. You have to leave at 10 if you have to drive back home after work? No problem. I'm, I'm going to be going for another uh, 2 hours and, and 12 minutes, at least. So... Do whatever you have to do. You're welcome to come back. And we'll just, uh, just kind of give this guy a, one of those. Okay. Giant, disgusting heart thing did not like that. Uh, which means we're on the right track. If we can put giant disgusting heart thing in the corner, uh, that's what we're going to do. So, A plus is all around for that. Now, over here we have some cages. And we can get in these cages, and they will take us further into the stage, but not just yet. Screw Jif's stream, he can deal without me watching him once a week. <laughs> yeah, the heck with Jif. Uh, by the way, Jiffrey is a friend of mine. He, uh, he streams every Monday, Tuesday, and on the weekend sometimes. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Jiffrey, J-I-F-F-R-Y. Check him out. He, he does a lot more community-type games than I do. I, I mostly stick to these uh, single-player experiences because I'm a, uh, I'm a lonely shut-in. What's up with this dude? Are you here to fight the demons? Why, yes. If so, then help me escape this place. I could do that. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. Why are you in jail, bro? Hmm? Why do you think he's on... Why do you think he's in jail, then? If, uh, if he's such a good guy. I'm not in jail. But I'll let him out. Now... You know, if I were, like, you know, someone who's never played Demon Souls before, I might think, 
I just did a nice thing, more friends, but I know what this guy's deal is. He's gonna go back to the Nexus and kill everybody. So we're gonna we're gonna deal with him right now. Well that didn't uh that was supposed to be a backstab. But it's fine. I'll just nuke him. There you go. Goodbye. Fly a kite, buddy. So doing that was actually important, but uh you know, whatever. So there's the gloom set. Uh, it's actually quite a nice set of armor. We don't need it for this build, but we have it. And now Yurt, the Silent Chief, is <laughs> really silent. Oh man, he's got nothing to say anymore. So he's actually part of a, of a society that uh, doesn't want humanity to learn about the soul arts, uh, a.k.a. the ability to cast magic. And those are stones he placed on the ground. Those are called Augites of Guidance. I think I have some in my inventory. Uh, do I? I do. So they're called Augites of Guidance. This place is awful. And they're basically way markers. You, you put them down to sort of light the way. I don't know if it's going to show up through, uh, <laughs> through the sputum. But uh, he put those down to get people's attention, essentially. Oh, hello there. Let's see, I've got some attention. Absolutely the worst. Okay, so we'll, we'll explore the, uh, the viscera a little bit and uh, see what we can get out of it. But yeah, he, he's part of a, 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 a society that's trying to prevent humanity from uh, learning about the soul arts. And so uh, he is sent to kill everyone who does. And if I take him to the Nexus, that's exactly what he'll do. He'll kill everybody. And we don't want that. We do want to free him first. That is important for later. But killing him uh, is, is definitely the better of the two options. Let's see what this, what, what this is. A fragrant ring. That's the ring that we started the game with. If you did not choose royalty, that is how you get it. That's the other way. And there's another corpse pile, I think. I'm not really sure what the name of that enemy is, but it is a ball of corpses that can fire spells, apparently. Well, two can play at that game, just as soon as I'm done looting the surrounding area. A mercury chunk. Uh, chunks of mercury, not the worst. Well, I don't even want to approach this thing. Ooh, and that's why. Hits like a bit of a truck. And if I got up close to it, it'd be even worse. It flails, flails its limbs. I've got no spell power left. I need more spell juice. We'll just, uh, I know it's going to take a little bit. It is magic resistance, but I'd rather not die to it. do a little bit of this. Ow, until it deads. And preferably, I'll avoid getting hit too many more times. Okay, should only be a few more. One more. There we go. That's better. Some more mercury stone. More mercury stone. <laughs> Crumbs. All that for mercury stone. Uh, there's a treasure up there that you can't get unless the game is in pure black world tendency. Uh, I think we'll be doing that a little bit later, so worry not. For now, let's find a way up here. Let's find a way onto these planks. I've had enough running through uh, whatever this is supposed to be. It's pretty awful. So I believe in the original PS3 game, these were called Celebrity Demons. And I don't know if it's because of all the faces, or because of how melodramatic they are when you kill them. But 
That's what I'm going to call them. Celebrity demons. Hey, Rack. Welcome to the stream. Really glad to have you here, man. Big appreciate. Everyone follow Rack, who isn't already following him. Or I'll, I'll punch you in the snoot. So uh, this is Demon Souls. I'm in the, uh, the Tower of Latria. This place is awful. This place is filled with garbage and tentacles and giant gross hearts and gargoyles and these things. Yeah, Rack, tell us about your day. <laughs> yeah, the day being over is a good quality of day. For sure. See if we can take care of these guys. Alright, what do we have here? We have a plague resistance ring, and that's it. <laughs> okay, not really worth it. But that's fine. If we ever encounter plague again, which I don't think we will, we'll be ready. We'll have a ring, and then the plague will know. The plague will say, well, okay, damn, I didn't know, I didn't know you were going to have a ring about me about it, but fine, I guess. Less plague for you. And that's just a tactic. That's just a tactic to make you feel guilty. Don't fall for it. How's your night in my stream so far? Uh, not too bad. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my, the things I was having issues with in the last stream. Concerning this playthrough, I got them taken care of. So, I'm doing a decent amount of damage. I've got this giant, ridiculous, floppy thing on my head. Uh, it couldn't really be going better. And now that you're here, it's even, uh, it's even nicer. So, cast some magic, since they don't seem to know what they want to do. Oh, there's three of them. I didn't even see the first two. Um, yeah, and so, I mean, you're used to, to Bloodborne, uh, Rack. And so when people say that, you know, Bloodborne is faster than Dark Souls games, um, this is pretty much what they mean. I, I don't know if you'd find this too slow. <laughs> yeah, my, my character has got, got a background. So, you know, um, Demon Souls probably being the slowest of them because it spaces the enemies out quite a bit. Coming to the next runway? Yeah, you bet. I, I strongly recommend Sekudo. Uh, Sekudo is crushing as well. Uh, not quite the same way Bloodborne is, but it'll feel the same. Uh, especially, I think I think Sekudo is harder in some ways if you're uh, if you're used to playing Souls games because it doesn't play like a this absolute dingus. Can you not? Can you decide to stop? Alright. Oh, jeez. Are we dead? We might be dead. Nope, we're not dead, but we're darn close. This might, this might, this might do it. Oh. Okay. We're gonna two-hand this. Oh, man. My least favorite enemy in this game those things. They're the worst. And the Black Phantom variants are even worse because they just like straight up ignore um, your attacks. Hey, Papa Beatloaf, welcome to the stream. Don't think I didn't see you. I saw you. We'll put the thief ring on for now. We'll try not to roll around too much. Uh, and that is for a very specific purpose. There's, uh, there's some goodies up ahead that I don't want to run away from me. I just want everyone to be my friend, and they keep leaving. Right, let's see how celebrity demons feel about... So oh. They feel very ow about Soul Ray. Good to know. Now, right over there. Right over there is a crystal lizard. We don't want to upset it. So... We'll lure this guy out. Take that guy down. See if we can't do the same to the other one. 
Okay. That didn't upset the crystal lizard either. I'm all out of magic juice, but it's fine. Okay, let's go! Oh, no, oh, come on. Beautiful. And that is Moonlight Stone Chunk. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'll take that. That's acceptable. I'm sorry, Armor Plated Gecko. It has to be done. The needs of the few and, and so on. Alright, I'll see you in 20 minutes, Frenchie. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate you. <laughs> I mean, it's like the only enemy that really is just minding its own business, but like, they're just so... They're full of ore and things. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to switch my ring back over. I have time, right? Okay. Uh... Nope, that was the other one. Ring of... Nope. Ring of great strength. What? Unable to remove this ring due to the effect of item carry capacity? Why? Okay. This is bad. I just... <laughs> I just accidentally the game. Um... Oh, gosh. What can I do? <laughs> there was time now! Oh, I really fudged things up. Okay. The, uh... <laughs> Jeez. What can I do here? Let's, uh, let's jettison these bladestone shards. I'm never gonna need them. Uh, and let's try and re-equip. Okay, good. Alright, I undid, I undid it. I undid it, everybody. We're fine now. I accidentally screwed up my ability to fast roll just then, but I can do it again now. Um, emergency over. Now this guy. Well, that didn't really go my way. But it's fine, dude. Yeah, come on up. Oh, he's shooting stuff at me. Do you mind? The tenacity. The audacity. The travelocity of it all. Rocking that baby gaze head. You know it. It does kind of look like a Q-tip, doesn't it? A little bit. I've got an old man's entire bedsheet wrapped around my head, and I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be a happier boy. So we're heading up the other side of the tower now. Things are about to get moving. We're about to deal with that heart. We're going to take every ventricle, every tentacle, and, uh, and rip it out. That's the hope. Uh, I don't think I didn't see that. I saw that. I'm firmly aware of the of the nonsense you just tried to tried to perpetrate on me. Goofy. I know there's some dudes up here praying, and and I'm gonna find them, and I'm gonna solve the problem for them. There we go. Get out of here. One, two, three. And let's see, let's do a backstab on this guy. This man has an entire psych ward sheet set on his head in case he gets trapped on the third floor. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, man, you're not wrong. No, but I, I, rack, I really like Sekiro. I, I liked it quite a bit. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, it, it plays somewhere between a Souls game and, like, not quite like a Devil May Cry, but there's definitely more of a focus on, like, action reflex fighting. Uh, there are a lot of attacks that you have to make, like, a split-second decision whether you're going to jump over it, dodge, or uh, do a parry. Um, it is quite a different game from Bloodborne, but you can definitely tell they're made by the same company. They definitely feel very much the same. And that's concerning, all of that. Every moment of that is... is is a question that I have that probably no one is going to answer. Uh, we, we killed the heart, but out of the heart crawled a bunch of those, uh, those, those celebrity demons. So I'm assuming we're going to have to deal with a lot more of those. And uh, we've now looped around the stage. We're back at the beginning of the stage now. Up there is the, uh, 
I guess what you would call the bonfire, the archstone fragment that would take us back to the Nexus. But we're not done here yet. Um, or are we? How many souls do I need to level up? Okay, we're going to head back to the Nexus really quick. From Dead Heart, I stay at the... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, I reset my router before this, so I'm hoping, uh, speaking to the... Uh, Oh, from dead heart I stab at thee? That makes a lot more sense. Hopefully talking to the maiden in black doesn't uh, doesn't brick the internet. Because uh, that's probably one of my least favorite things of the fumbles up to this point is the stream stopping and me having to, uh, to stitch it together afterwards. So I'm going to cross all my toes. Put a point into intelligence. It did nothing! Okay, so I guess we're just going to avoid talking to the Maiden in Black uh, forever. Well, we've lost what? <sighs> I don't understand why it does that. That that really is frustrating. But we'll buy some fresh spice. Ugh. Nice stuff. I, I really hope that it wasn't going to do that. I even switched to, like, a different... Uh, internet connection on my router, I did a power cycle, I prayed to Cthulhu, like everything that you would normally do to get your internet to work, like crispy clean, and uh, you know, it, uh, it uh, yeah, you know, uh, it, it's still fucked. So we're just not going to talk to the Maiden in Black if we can help it. We're going to try to be really careful. Uh, if we die, we, we make sure to collect our souls beforehand uh, and not lose a heckin' bunch of them. But But you know, if we do... I'll try not to cry. That's that's my pledge to you. Well, all the enemies have respawned, but <laughs> what can really be done about it? So yeah, now now there's celebrity demons about. They've certainly uh, asserted themselves into the space. Excuse me, excuse me, young man. But an odd thing to just stop streams when you talk to her. Yeah, I, I, I'm assuming it has to do with the internet. Like, it just... I can't be streaming and also whatever Demon Souls does to talk to the server at the same time. And uh, I suppose it does it when uh, when you talk to the Maiden in Black. It's, it's very strange. I might have to call my ISP and tell them my woes. But for now, it's, uh, it's bros before woes. And we want to get as much loot as we can before we, we tackle the boss here. So, Moonlight Stone Shard, always welcome. Uh, we destroyed the heart, so now we can, uh, we can move a little bit deeper into the central chamber. And hopefully nothing will knock me off. <laughs> oh. But we got company. That feels so nice. Like, once I run out of stamina for my, my slashes, I can just throw a spell out. There's no end to my onslaught. I should have dumped my uh, excess items while I was at the Nexus, but I got distracted with the, with the stream getting cut. Happens to the best of us. Okay. I see that ambush you were trying. Very cute. Very cute. Oh! Oh, there's another one. Oh, and he's firing stuff at me. And it's a lot. And he keeps going. Please and thank you. I don't ask for much. I feel like I, I'm pretty pretty well going. Easy going, is that what the kids say? Uh, and I'm pretty pretty yar, as the, uh, as the 14th century English might say. I don't think I deserve all this. I don't think I deserve to have uh, gargoyles shoot me with uh, with crossbows in a pitch black oh in a pitch black nightmare scape. I almost rolled off a cliff, off a bridge. That's how I lost my uncle Anus, renowned hero soul. Okay, so let's now we're at the bottom. We're at the very bottom of where the heart was operating. Let's. 
Let's see what we can get out of here. We've got we've got celebrity demons out the wazoo, which is surprise to nobody. They're not really much of a threat. As long as you don't like stand in front of them and do nothing, uh, you're probably fine. Where them heart demons? We got a ring of avarice. Okay, that is actually a really nice item. Uh, I'll, I'll explain what that's about. As soon as I've cleared all the muck from down here, uh, as well as one might think I could. Almost rolled into an abyss of the oceanic variety. Stone of ephemeral eyes, that'll let, those will let us be human again, and we've got more pop souls. And now all the celebrity demons are facing the wrong way, because I guess they don't understand how a circle works. Uh, lucky for them, I took, uh, I took AP geometry, so I, I know my squares, I know my, uh, the, the round, the cir circles, circles, I know circles, especially circles, I, I, I majored in circles, and so these celebrity demons, uh, they, they got nothing on me, they'll never catch me in a dark alley, uh, without a protractor, so we've, we've dealt with that down there, now, let me, uh, let me, let me talk at you. Uh, we have the the Ring of Avarice. Where is that? Who put that? Who put that somewhere? Am I blind? I might be blind. It's back. At, uh, it, it got stored. It's back in storage. I apologize. Um, a circle. A sphere is basically just like a fat circle. Like it's a circle. It's a circular circle, right? Do I have that right? I think. Like it's been a while since I've been to to Shapes University, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I feel confident. Anyway, the uh, the Avarice Ring increases the amount of souls uh, you get from defeating enemies, which is uh, it's pretty good. It's not bad. I've got no complaints. And uh, now that we've uh, decockled the giant heart, as I promised you I would, uh, let the record reflect that I kept my word to you, gentle viewer. Now I think we can try to take on the boss. It's also an okay disturbed song. <laughs> that okay. <laughs> Your name is Papa Beatloaf. I, I think the, the the Papa part really uh, really came hard with the dad jokes. And there's another one of these guys. My least favorite guy. Oh, I got I, I rolled right into it. Please be kind. Please rewind. Okay, I'm gonna have to plan my escape here because they're going to use a oh, no no <laughs> no way well I'm dead <laughs> no the absolute destruction that was laid at my feet just then we'll be writing about that one in the history books At least this area is stunning. Yeah, the reeds. Exactly. That was some. That was some high tier AI uh, prophesizing. There. It's all right. Can you? Could you just settle yourself, please? We'll get there in, in short work. In short order. Uh, I've played this game quite a bit, so I know kind of know this area like the back of my hand. I may not be able to fight the enemies like the back of my hand, but you've never seen me fight the back of my hand. So, I, I mean, you know, you don't know, <laughs> right? Does anyone know? What number playthrough is this? Um, I suppose this is my fourth playthrough of the game. Uh, it's the first playthrough for this character. This is a uh, This is a new game run for... Uh, this character, who who I lovingly named, uh, is the name, does the name show up here? It doesn't. Who I lovingly named Madame Pekojaker 2. Uh, there's a lot of lore, there's a lot of history behind that name, it would take too long to explain, but trust me when I say that it was, uh, it was the, the, the right name for the job. I almost just rolled backwards into it. Come on. Ooh, come on. No! I think this is gonna kill me. <laughs> Yo! This is the worst enemy! The worst one! Piccolo's wife, exactly. 
Madam Pokojiker. Uh, Rack, since you're not you're not familiar with uh, with my backstory, we'll get past that thing. Don't worry, we got it. Um, I'll, I'll explain I'll explain the origins of Pokojiker. So a long time ago, I had a Let's Play channel, and I used to uh, make YouTube videos. And uh, one day, I got a uh, I got a wild strand up my uh, up my toot hole, and decided that I was going to uh, to rip off. Oh jeez, I was gonna rip off some uh, some Team Four Star. Dragon Ball Z abridged jokes, and, uh, you know, make a video out of that. So I, I found a ROM of this old Super Nintendo game, uh, this old Japanese, like, Dragon Ball Z RPG. And it was badly, uh, I mean, you can link it if you want, I'm streaming, buddy. Uh, it was badly uh, translated, so it's like half English, half French, half Japanese, half nonsense. Four halves. And the names were all, like, Gok and Pico and Krill... You know, and, and just like it was, it was all really awful. And Gohan's name was Goj Pekojiker, G O H, uh, no, wait, no, G O J H P I C O J K R, or something like that. I may have misspelled it. You'll have to forgive me. It's been some years. Um, and so it became a bit of a meme because Pekojiker is Goj Pekojiker is not how you spell Gohan's name, even kind of like it's not even on the right track. Uh, and as a result, we have Madame Pekojiker. Can I just, like, style on him from a distance? Can I just take that route? I think I'm just gonna take that route. Yeah, goodbye. I should have just done that from the beginning. Who do I think I am? They had the Geo. That's, that was close. It just seems like a lot. Hey, hair guy, welcome to the stream. Getting Yajirobe card with EP on it? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past it. It was a really, really weird ROM. Very, very strange. Okay, so that that uh, that Mind Flare was the only thing standing between us and uh, failing to win this boss fight several several times in a row. So I hope you're I hope you're prepared for what is, in my opinion, uh, the hardest boss in this game. I'm not memeing. That's real. That is my real opinion. And I hope it goes okay. Hope it goes well. The boss of this stage is called the Man Eater. <laughs> First try, baby! I almost missed the door. Okay, boss fight. Here we go. Doesn't do much damage. Never mind, it does a pretty respectable amount of damage. Ow. Yeah, I mean, you can get stuck on a geometry too. Oh, oops. The main thing to be careful of is uh, not getting knocked off. It's a very narrow, very narrow space. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm not ashamed to be mashing heals. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use every grass in my, uh, in my arsenal if I have to. Okay, we're out of juice. Hey, welcome back, Frenchie. We're fighting a boss. We're trying to, anyway. It seems a bit confused. Ah, I keep hitting the pillar. Ah, can you please stop wasting time, Maneater? Like, this is about... Yeah, there it is. There's the second one. A second one spawns into the fight. Oh, no! And there I go. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Didn't even let me get up. 
didn't even have the courtesy. Alright, let's try it again. Let's give it another go. Yeah, when that second man-eater comes in, it, it becomes problems. Yeah, usually when the second one spawns, I like to try to run to the middle to space them out a little bit, but I didn't really get the chance. <laughs> I, I, I very quickly got uh, knocked to my death, which is kind of a worst-case scenario. Excuse me, sir. But we'll get him. You know, uh, Rack said something on his stream yesterday when he was streaming Bloodborne that I really liked. Uh, we have infinite tries, so they're at a disadvantage. I really like that quite a bit. And it's not very often that I can first try Maneater. That uh that fight is is doo-doo. This may be a deep cut, but those fellows remind me of the demon guy from Fantasia, Knight on Bald Mountain. Um I know what you're talking I've seen Fantasia, I know the part you're talking about, but it's like it's tucked away into like nine year old memory, like nine year old me memory. I completely spaced on this on this enemy. I was <laughs> I was on autopilot, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and yeah. There you go. Bold of you to assume I play video games. Yeah, yep, yeah, that was uh you know, you shouldn't assume. They say you shouldn't assume because then you get arrested. That's what I heard. Don't quote me on that. Alright, let's try this again. Hot potatoes. I'm going to try to be a bit more liberal with the, uh, with the spending of the magic. I don't like that it hurts me even when it's not aimed at me. Oh, okay. Just having a moment. that ghost that chilling on the bridge yeah it shows phantoms of other players so sort of like you know that you're not a oh golly that you're not alone is there any chance you can just die now okay one down one down that's actually really good we like that we like that a lot okay we're just gonna run away just for a moment we're gonna get some space yeah, it spawns two of them. This this fight is just doo doo. It's doo doo on a plate. Thankfully, the AI isn't the smartest thing in the world, so we have a bit of a, a bit of a breather here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, that still knocked me over, huh? Okay, there we go. He's airborne. Can't really do anything about that right now. Ow. <laughs> okay. That was that was scary. Let me let me get back down on the bridge. I think I'm a bit more comfortable down here. There's there's too much there's too much everything. <laughs> there's too much everything up here. Uh, I don't know what happened there. That should have hit me. 
But it didn't. I won't complain. I guess it has a, a, a range, and I'm just at the edge of it. Okay. Maneater has been vanquished. Thank goodness. Oh, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate the, uh, the accolades. That is one of my least favorite boss fights in the world. So what still haven't we done? We've done, uh, we've done everything but one three, and four two at this point. So I think we're gonna do four two next. Hopefully we will be fortuitous, ha 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 ha, etc. And uh, we're gonna avoid talking to the maiden in black, even though all these souls are. Uh, well, it's really not that many souls, is it? Well, it's fine. Back to the Nexus. We are going to dump off some of our items. Uh, Rack, in this game, in addition to equipment burden, uh, augmenting the uh, the rate at which you, you roll, if, you, if you're very encumbered, you kind of do what's called a fat roll. And it's, uh, it's, not, it's not pleasant. There's also item burden. So the more items you pick up, you can eventually uh, hit a cap and then not pick up any more, not be able to pick up any more items. So I try to keep on top of that and not have too many of any given thing. Uh, let me put one of these away. These, these don't weigh anything, these souls. Uh, but I will deposit the mixed demon soul. Deposit all of this junk. Any extra weapons we picked up that we don't really want or care about? No offense. Compound longbow, the gargoyle crossbow. Does everything have equal value to this specific character build? Um, what do you mean by that? Explain your smelf. Oh, we've got some rings to put away for sure. Uh... Put away the flame resistance ring, the gas resistance ring, the poison resistance ring, the master ring, uh, the grave robber ring. Well, everything everything weighs something, right? So, uh, like this ring, for example, weighs zero point two. Um, meanwhile, my sword weighs five point zero, and so uh, I have right now. I have. 110 item burden max. And so everything adds up. Everything you have equipped, everything you're carrying adds up. And once it reaches 110, I can't pick up any more stuff. Now, in the remake, you can send stuff back to storage, um, but before you couldn't. And equipment burden is uh, what you have on your body. So on the top right side of the screen right there, it says equip burden. And so long as my uh, equip uh, burden is half of the maximum, I can fast roll. I, I know about the luck glitch, Papa Beatloaf. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anyone, <laughs> but but I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to lower myself to that kind of thing. Um. So real quick before we, uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll we'll round up later. Let's keep going forward. Uh, I like to do a lot of housekeeping in between uh, boss fights. Oh, actually, there's one very important thing I do need to do. <laughs> That cannot be that cannot be left to chance. Um, I've mentioned it a few times, but Rack, you're uh, you're new here, ish. Uh, this game imposes something called the world tendency system. So imagine this in Bloodborne. Uh, when you kill when you're killed by an enemy, all the enemies get a little bit harder. If you die in uh, in body form, in human form, which I am right now, 
Uh, and that's because every time you die in human form, you, uh, you lower the world tendency towards black. And so the blacker the world tendency gets, the harder the enemies become, but the more they drop, the more souls they give. It, it, they're more lucrative, but it's more challenging. And the closer to white you move by killing bosses and helping players and defeating invading phantoms, uh, the easier enemies become, but the worse the drops become. And at the polar extremes of white and black tendency, various things shift around in the world. NPCs show up, events happen, uh, certain weapons, certain monsters show up. So it's important to keep track of your tendency. Now, uh, I have pure white world tendency in worlds 2, 3, and 5. Kabam. And so the solution to avoid, uh, you know, uh, lowering your world tendency in the five worlds is to kill yourself in the Nexus. Because this is a demilitarized zone. Um, so a good habit to get into when you play this game, if you, if you are planning on manipulating the world tendency, is, uh, you know, an hero in the Nexus. After every boss fight. So let's grab our souls back. Wow, that's a really cool sort of balance. Yeah, you bet. It's not my favorite. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad it's not in any other Souls game than this one. Um, but you know, it is. It's in this one, and uh, this it sort of is the heart of Demon Souls. Uh, most most Souls games don't have a hub like this. They have like a hub-ish zone, like an area that all the other areas sort of creep around. But this very much is like Mega Man, where I can just choose what world I want to go into, and what order, for the most part, I want to, I want to do everything in. So, we're going to go to World 4-2. This place is not friendly to magic users, and I am one. So, it's, it's, ho oh, oh, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a moment. We're going to try our best. Um, does Grave Robber Blige sell uh, Half Moon... Crescent grass. He does. He does. Perfect. Okay. Just gonna just gonna drain my souls into that. Drain my souls into that and spend the rest on fresh spice. Because the spice must flow. So here we are. 4-2. This place is a, a catacomb. A tomb filled with shadow men. That's what these things are. And the shadow men are controlled by these grim reapers. Which we don't want here. Once you kill the Grim Reaper, all the Shadow Men disappear. Now, this was sort of a tutorial Grim Reaper. It's right out in the open, like, here you go. This is what to do. Uh, the other ones in the stage are not quite so, um... They're not quite so in the open. So, uh, here we go. Fingers crossed I can get through this stage. Uh, Ma the Maneater fight is, in my opinion, the hardest boss in the game. 4-2, in my opinion, is the hardest stage in the game. So I'm, I'm really serving it up for you guys here. Giving you all my nightmares at once. Let's open this and do a quick... Oh, it wasn't fast enough. We're just not even going to deal with those guys. I'm sorry. That's, 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 that's a little too spicy for me. You're getting one slice of pizza? Oh, a one slice pizza and some Dairy Queen? That sounds pretty nice. I had some uh, Alfredo chicken before the, before the stream. This area looks so much better. Better than what? Latria? <laughs> Kindly spare me your lasers. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it again. Oh, and <laughs> what? What even was that? Hey, Jeffrey, welcome to the stream and the beginning of, of so many tears. So many tears. I'm going to cry. Oh, better than the OG area. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Oh, and Carrie's in here, too. Welcome to the stream, Carrie. Have, I appreciate to have you here. Always a pleasure. We're just, uh... Oh, you raided me. That explains some things. Thanks for the raid. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm playing Demon Souls. Not particularly well. Happy to have you here. Oh, it's just this hat. This, okay, I'm sorry. I, I just, look, this hat is a problem. I'm keeping it on. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm not getting rid of the hat. Oh, hey, decoy. Nice to see you as well. 
Uh, we're keeping the hat on. That's that, that's not being taken off. Uh, unless, you know, we'll, we'll worry about it later. I'm, I'm turning show helmet off so that it's not getting in my way anymore. <laughs> because, jeez. What an eyesore. It's it's funny. I love that hat. But it makes it really difficult to see where I'm going on, like, narrow camera areas. And this stage is basically nothing but narrow camera areas. So, let's see if uh, if all the excuses I just made are true and, uh, and not, just, uh, not just a bunch of hullabaloo. I'm glad I spent those souls. Because I was not getting those back. Okay, we don't really need to worry about soul remains. We don't want to get shot by dudes. So just remove him. Now there's a shortcut through this stage too, but I'm going to try not to use it. I'm going to try and be a good boy. I'm going to try and behave myself. Ooh, don't want any of that. Not really interested. Uh, we're just going to speed our way through. I think going fast is the, is the way. Going fast is the play here. Because these guys, these shadow men with their lasers. If you close the distance, they just try to hug you. And that's a lot easier to deal with. The narrow staircase, not so much. Uh, there is a bit of almost falling off of cliffs when I swing. But, with any luck... Well, dodged right into it. With any luck, we can avoid getting lasered to death. Now, I know where the Grim Reaper is here, and I'm going to go straight to him. Hey. That's right. Goodbye. <laughs> Get a taste of your own medicine, sir. Uh, there's still enemies in here, so I'm going to have to be fast. I'll show you what I'm talking about, but uh, you just have to trust me for right now. You like the wispiness on the ghost? Yeah, I do too. Okay, so there's... Yeah, there's some invisible female shadow women, I guess? Shadow women. There's some of those. And uh, we don't like those. We don't care about those. Um, I think I might actually take my shield out for this part. I don't want to get stabbed. But yeah, I think I'm going to take the shield out for this part, because this, this, this part can be a bit dicey. Okay, that's that taken care of. Alright, can I... Can I prompt the laser without... You want to use it? You want to use it, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, that shouldn't have missed me, by all accounts. That should not have missed me. Since we're in tight quarters, let's two-hand this. And, uh, and this too. Yeah, I know. I know all about you, buddy. Yep, that's that's quite enough out of you. Okay. Alright, we're pretty much home free now. Uh, there's one more place uh, that we gotta go through, but it, the, the worst of it is over. Uh, now I just have to uh, be careful not to, uh, not to run into any explosions. Oh, man. This is stressful. And uh, since I'm not going for a 100% playthrough of this uh, of this particular run, we're just trying to get through uh, while putting the build together as it comes. Uh, I'm more than happy to fight the... Yeah, see, that's an explosion. That right there. We don't want that. I'm more than happy to just uh, fight the Archdemon here. Mm-hmm. Fight the Archdemon here and uh, consider World 4 a wrap. A Crunch Wrap Supreme. All right, so there is something we want here. We want a thief ring. Now we're gonna fat roll now, but that's that's okay. It's worth it. Best of luck to you. Thank you. This next boss fight is something of a gimmick. And if we do it correctly, we can uh, we can take kind of a leisurely approach to it. You're at the drive-through waiting for your Dairy Queen. That's awesome. Thanks for taking me to the drive-through, man. I I love it. <laughs> that's that's fantastic.
Now, for whatever reason, the bosses of this place don't have any lips. The last guy didn't have lips either. Some of the bosses in this game are questionable. And I don't mean because they don't have lips, although that does raise some. Uh, this is the old hero, and he is completely blind. He tracks you by sound. We put on the thief ring, so there is no way for him to hear us. Uh, I could go up and attack him, and I will, from behind. And he won't even, he won't even turn around, because he doesn't know where I am. So this, this boss is very, very easy, so long as you are, are not making a lot of noise. Now there is one caveat. When he roars like that, if I attack him while he's roaring, he will instantly know where I am. It's like echolocation. And he'll come get me. Uh, but otherwise, he's just going to slowly patrol up and down this hallway and, and not really do anything. So this is an incredibly easy boss fight. Doesn't pose even kind of a challenge. Unless you, uh, unless you make a mistake. And even then, like, he lets you know he's on his way. And you can kind of dodge his attack, and he goes right back to not knowing where you are anymore. Oh, I think I missed. Keep the spice flowing so we don't run out of MP. And yeah, there he goes. This is, like, this is the fight. I just need to make sure that I, uh, I don't hit him while he's roaring. Well, I'm glad to hear that your day got better, Bork. I'm kind of in the same boat. My my day started out pretty troubling, and uh, it's a lot it's a lot better now. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that I'm not the only one. Where are you going, buddy? Why are you hanging out in the hallway? Like, I'm attacking him from a distance, just so I don't make a complete fool of myself by accident, but he is totally meleeable using this strategy. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, Joe. It's a great thing to, to end the day with. That is, a, that is a big compliment, thank you. I'm glad you made it here, I'm glad you're here with me. The old hero- oh! I think I did I attack him while he was uh while he was roaring? I think I might have gone autopilot for a moment there and just didn't uh didn't notice. Oh, I'm out of juice. Juice back up. So that's an example of when he uh he's able to see. And like you saw, all I had to do was just dodge to the side, and, you know, after that he didn't know what to do anymore. Sorry to hear about your jaw and your dog. But I'm glad that your jaw's better now. And I hope your uh, hope your dog's feeling okay too. First try, baby! <laughs> there's no Thanks, Rack. There's there's really no congratulations needed for a boss fight like that. Uh, it would be hilarious if I died. It, it's kind of you kinda have to try to lose. It's 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 a little bit like that. But you know, we've uh, we've made a little bit more progress, and and I'm I'm grateful for it. So we have the hero demon soul. Past there is the final boss. I'm gonna quickly kill myself in the nexus, and uh, you know, we're uh, we're we're just about we're just about okay, just about okay. 
So, I mean, if anything, this will give me the opportunity to discover whether or not it's actually the Maiden, of, maiden in Black that's crashing my stream, or if it's just returning to the Nexus after a boss fight. We'll do some human science here. And uh, I should repair my, my gear as well. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, when this game came out and people hadn't figured out the world tendency system, it sure seemed rather bleak that uh, dying made the game harder, like it wasn't already hard enough. <laughs> like, what a punishment. Like, oh, yeah, you're struggling, huh? Having a hard time, uh... Having a hard time fighting those enemies, yeah? Well, what if, uh, what if they hit harder now? What if, uh, what if that? Do you think that'll help you learn? Do you think you'll, uh... I think you'll be able to improve that way. Did I come up this staircase? I think I did. I did. That was a bit of a waste of time. But you know, we need the exercise. Madam Pokojiker 2 uh, skipped leg day. It's the suck it up and get good system. <laughs> it sure is. I can forge weapons for you. Alright, let's let's repair. Just repair it all, Jack. Let's go. Alive. Okay, and now, with any luck, we can fight the final boss of this of this world, not of the game. We're we're still a ways out from there. Uh, we've we've completed four worlds, save for their boss fights, or three worlds save for their boss fights. We we uh, we finished Maiden Astraea and her champion Garl Vin Vinland in the fifth world. Uh, so now we're going to defeat the Storm Ruler in the fourth world. Finally going to get some revenge on these stupid manta rays, is what I have to say. And with the storm going on, like, this is so imposing. It looks kind of goofy because these enemies are just stupid, but... There is... Look at this. There's so many of them. It is a bit imposing. So, uh, we're at a major disadvantage. They're all in the sky. I don't have things that can attack sky. I think, I think they call them arrows? Yeah, I don't have any arrows. I mean, I do, but I don't. The majestic flap flaps, exactly. Uh, so we need something to even out the odds. And that something is in this very arena. We just have to make it there safely and also equip it. So, I mean, good luck to me. There's some crystal lizards here. Do I dare? I, ca I can't help myself. I know I'll get punished for it. Okay. Let's pull out this thing. Okay, we have the storm ruler. Let's grab this loot. Oh, a pure moonshade stone. That's not, that's not too shabby. Okay, so we're walking. I'm going to try and equip this thing while I move. Uh, storm ruler where? Storm ruler? Anybody? Mom? Okay, perfect. There, we have the storm ruler. Now, let's, uh, let's change the stats on these things for a moment. I'm completely lost. Hey, Grems, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Always, always a pleasure. Alright, as soon as I get my bearings, these, uh, these flappity flaps are gonna get it. I'm gonna flap them cheeks. Okay, I think it's about time to start dropping the smack down. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, they track a little bit, I forgot about that. Okay, we need to make sure we stay hydrated. Feel bad for being mimi? Don't feel bad for that. Never anything wrong with being me. Um, I'm doing all right. My day started out a bit stressful, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. We're making good progress on, on Demon Souls. I don't think I hit anybody that time. Uh, oh, it looks like the big one noticed. Guess he doesn't appreciate me uh, slapping all of his babies out of the sky. That's right. I will come to your job, and I will slap the babies out of your sky. No apologies. Uh, definitely, 
Definitely got his attention. Oh, those hurt so much. Are you for real? Hold on. Okay, can I still get him before he runs away? No. <laughs> it would help if I aimed it the right direction. Come back! Okay. I'm gonna have to come back for him. Oh, that was yucky. Okay, we don't want the thief ring on. We want the ring of great strength. I guess I forgot to take that off. No. Take out a few more babies. What else we Okay. Bam! I'm serving it up fresh. Right in the cloaca. Yeah, something also, I don't know if you just noticed that, but the rain actually doesn't fall like fall through the boss. If you're under the boss, you aren't getting rained on, which is such a cool touch. Like the attention to detail. The power of the PlayStation 5. It's just really impressive. I'll try to see it again on this on, on another suite. Oh, jeez, that one hit through my uh everything. first. Catch up and get one more swing in. Yeah, baby! Alright, one more pass should be it. Yeah, it's a really interesting boss fight. Yeah, I think that was the last Bablet. Let's see if we can use the rock to shield us. Uh, we're taking it home. One more and that's it. You're gone. You're donezo. Pistachio ice cream. I'm too, too far. Damn it, I thought I could finish it right there. Can I still get him with a spell? Not with that sluggishness. Okay, one more. Try to use the rocks again to cover. I did a heck of that. Get oh no. I got greedy. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get out of here! Demon vanquish. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's the language I'm speaking to you. Let's get that Moon Uchikatana back on there. Beautiful. Let's loot the place. I am flush with souls. Uh I kind of, I think I'm going to have to spend them at the Nexus, so it might kick me off the broadcast again, and uh, that, that just makes me sad, you know, it just makes me a sad guy, but I think it's worth it at this point. Got a pure Cloudstone and the Storm Demon Soul. Now, let's head back to the Nexus. Um, I've only been using one attack spell. Oh, thanks. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the congratulations. They're the pancakes of the sea. <laughs> Those are some top-tier pancakes. Uh, the stream might break here. Uh, it'll come right back if it doesn't, and uh, another part of my soul will be uh, will be shattered. But uh, yeah, I've only been using one spell this whole playthrough. That's what I was saying, uh, and that's because there are two NPCs that teach you spells, and I haven't rescued the the second one yet. And that's what we're going to do next. So fingers crossed. Now seek us the power of the, then touch the demon. See if she'll, if the stream will let me level myself up. Yeah, I think we'll do it like that for now. The play is to get enough endurance at some point to not need the ring of, uh, of great strength anymore. It's sort of a crutch right now to let us wear this gear set. That's uh, that, that's where we are, and that's who we are. I so, seems the it seems the stream survived. I'm come back alive. I'm grateful. <laughs> I really am. It's it's, it's it's such a nightmare. Like my the computer I have right now is very bad. Like it's not a good computer at all. It uh it can barely run itself, let alone anything else. So trying to 
uh, stitch all the pieces of, uh, of a stream together is uh, minimum bueno. And uh, I, I much prefer the, the Ghost of Tsushima streams because of it. So we're not going to need the Storm Ruler anymore. Uh, put the War Scythe away as well. All these things we don't really need. Light arrows, don't really need it. Holy arrows, same deal. Um, and uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. I won't. Uh, I pointed out before that like people are praising this game for its facial animations, and uh, I'm going to go through the photo mode again, just, just to show how not true that is. That's just simply not true. So this is Madame Pokojiker. This is the character I made. Madame Pokojiker 2. She's the second of her line. And uh, let's do some expressions. So that's angry. Um, that's happy. That is laughing. You know, um, I feel like uh, that's, uh, that's a little, uh, you know, uh, terrifying. That, yeah, that terrifying is the word. Absolutely terrifying. Now, you can turn down the intensity, right, and then maybe try again. And, and that seems a bit more reasonable, right? Still a little bit nightmare fuel, but it's, you know. Um, but they don't. They don't. They have intensity all the way up. And uh, you, can, you can fix it in the photo mode, but when you do an emote, like uh, Offering, for example... This is supposed to be a like nice, like here you go, here's something for you. I don't even recognize who that is when she does the uh look that 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 is just the worst ever. Thanks, computer. I, I, I love you too. Thanks for letting me know that you're here. Uh alright, so that's enough faffing around. Um actually let's faff around a little bit more. There there's something I didn't do the last time in the interest of making progress, and we've made progress. I kept that promise to you. Madame Pokojiker might be nightmare fuel, but she still has stuff to do. And so we're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. We're going to head back to our blacksmith because... Uh, nope, I, uh, I'm wrong. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Bad memory. we got to go back to the Shrine of Storms. There's one more thing to uh, put under the tree for Sparkly the Crow. And, uh, oh, hello. We've got a uh, white, pure white tendency. Computer, what? Stop it. Stop saying things to me. What can I do about that? I can unplug my phone. I can do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'll unplug my phone. Okay, great. So now that I have pure white world tendency, this guy shows up. I am Satsuki. I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed, Makoto? Nope. I will offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. Well, that's something to consider. We're not going to worry about... Oh, I'm still in body form. You know what? I can handle it. It'll be fine. Famous last words, but I think we'll be all right here. For what it is that I'm going to do, I think we're going to be okay. I'm willing to take the risk for you guys. Pretty confident nothing in 4-1 can kill me. And so we're just going to operate like that's true. Okay, Vanguard Demon is dead. That's no longer a concern. We can go back down here. What we're doing is we're going back to Sparkly the Crow to trade her another Sparkly item. In exchange for a colorless demon soul. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the whole dying after every boss thing, I keep forgetting it, because I get so excited. Like, okay, now I can do the next thing. I can do the next part. And then I get a little bit overzealous, and I, I, I risk uh, lowering the tendency, which honestly wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think basically all the tendency events that we need uh, for the build have been satisfied. Uh, so it, you know... But it would make me sad. Oh, 
trade. Trade. Give me. Yeah, yeah, you got it. All right, so did I put it away? Please tell me I didn't put it away. It was in my storage the whole time. God damn it! All right, I'll do it later. I will. Uh, I will bring the item with me though. Use another archstone shard because I just I can't be bothered. That that's so disappointing. My brain is such an adversary. It's fine though. We'll uh, we'll make we'll make a note of it. We'll make sure. Hello again. I'm keeping a close yep. Look. Thanks, buddy. Let's let's find it at least. The gold mask. That's what we wanted. We wanted the gold you mask. Have a heart of gold. <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained. Ah oh, man. At least I at least I repaired my stuff. So let's uh. Why don't we, we buy some heavy arrows? Let's buy 30 heavy arrows. And uh, that'll be that. Good gear. Okay, so we're heading back to Balataria, everyone. It's finally time. It's finally time to return to the kingdom. Make a little bit more... Ugh, I forgot to kill myself again. You know what? No, I'll die here. Because it's actually this actually serves my purpose. I want this place to become blacker. So we're going to go through here. In body form. I'm not going to kill myself on purpose. We're just going to play and see what happens. So it's fine to lower world tendency here because I've already done all the white world tendency stuff. And someone's got to put a stop to that dude. So do we have everything that we want equipped? We do. We're doing fine now. In fact, fine enough that I think I can turn my helmet back on. Right on. All right, bring it on. Dogs are annoying in this game, too, if, uh, if anyone was wondering. If anyone had any concerns. That guy was giving you Biff Steak Broke Knuckle vibes? I agree. I agree. They're the Biff Steak Broke Knuckle of this time, for sure. So I'll figure out what order I want to do things in. I think I know what I want to do. I think it'll be okay. We're not going to follow. We're not going to fall for that. That's not how Madame Pokojika 2 rolls. The biggest indicator that that's not Biff Steak Broke Knuckle is he's not using his fist. To so oh, goodness. To solve his problems. That guy got the short end of the stick. For sure. That is, uh, that is what I'd call not ideal. So, we can't go through there. We're, we're going to have to find... Oh, okay. Very well. Ah, oh, good enough. So since this is a dash three area, uh, the enemies here are going to be pretty tough. Maybe not necessarily these ones. Uh, did you just kick me? I prefer if you didn't. Be a lot cooler if you did. Okay, let's go down this way. I think I'm going to keep the shield out for now. <laughs> I'll do some spells here and there, but I think... Yeah, I think the shield is what we want. For now. Because there's a lot of gabagoo going on here. And, uh... I haven't made my position on Gabagoo known up to this point, but I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm, uh, oh, this is so controversial. Um, I'm not, I'm anti-Gabagoo. Yeah, just, just going to say it right here. Anti-Gabagoo. Uh, I don't stand it. Can't stand it. To heck with it. That's my official position. I hear dudes shooting at me. It's not my favorite sound. Oh. 
Is there that bad dealt with? I think there's another person. Out for my blood. Right? I feel like there's supposed to be another one. Voyager stand is Gabagoo. How dare you? How dare you say these words to me? Okay, there it is. You don't want... Yeah. Somebody didn't read the memo. And they paid the price. We're in tight quarters again, so the ridiculous bath towel around my head is becoming a bit of an issue, but it should be fine. It shouldn't be too much of a... Uh, of an issue. Yeah, that's right. Got a dregling shield. Again, these are just dudes, normal ass dudes. Yeah, these ones are, but they've been influenced by demons. And so they gotta die. Have I been invaded? I didn't see the notification come up. Did it say? Was I just not paying attention? Oh. This is kind of a dangerous spot to be doing this. Oh, he hurts so much. That does so much damage. What? Oh yeah, arrows. Forgot about arrows. Oh, no way! The, the, I was invaded! No! Well, he was kind. The invader didn't backstab me when he had the chance, but now I'm, like, trapped. I'm plagued? And they've got a scraping spear. That's perfect. Scraping spear destroys your armor. And I'm dead. Right? Backstab. <laughs> Oh, I'm so unprepared. <laughs> I ran into the flaming boulders. This, someone put yakety sax to this. Someone play yakety sax over this. So I got invaded, and uh, it wasn't great. It wasn't my, it, it wasn't my best experience. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't recommend it. Good lord, that was embarrassing. Glad it happened on stream. I didn't see that I was invaded. I didn't even see the notification. What a shame that was. I could have beaten that guy, but like the whole the whole situation was just not in my favor. Plus I'm an idiot. You know, and all that uh, all that conspired against me. What a shame. What's funny, too, is this is like a PvP build, <laughs> so there's really no good reason. Uh, I just was not ready. I had him on the ropes for a little bit. I did surprise him with my magic. That's so funny. Well, uh, at least he didn't manage to break my equipment too badly. You know, small blessing. The scraping spear is a weapon you can make from the phalanx boss's soul, and it uh, the whole purpose of it is to destroy equipment. Even if you block the attacks, your shield gets destroyed. When you swing your weapon, your weapon gets destroyed. help that all that stuff is bouncing off. Can we not? There we go. What a tragedy. 
Yeah, thanks for clipping that. I appreciate it. That that needs to be saved. Ah, oh. not fantastic. I'm gonna try a different approach. I'm gonna try and take these guys out first. I think there's a red eye knight around the corner here. He's somewhere close. I think that's him. It is. Okay. Red Eye Knights are a lot more doable now. They they weren't so much before, but I I'm, I'm doing all right here. Not when people invade me, and uh, you know because I died in body form, everything is a little bit tougher. Everything does a little bit more damage to me. That's the situation, but it's a situation that I allowed, a situation that I uh, that I approved. So, ow, we're just oh wow, we're getting we're getting stomped on here with these arrows. This will be a little better. At least somebody dies around here. <laughs> At least someone got the memo. So we got an iron key ring. That is important. Ugh. I'm being very stupid. Like, I'm not playing well. Biff enjoys magic, but he died. That's not Biff steak. That's true. It's a poor Biff steak if you're dying to magic. Okay. Let's move up a little bit. Can't even get a backstab if I pay for it. There we go. Apparently big gross monsters are no problem. It's like regular ass people with regular ass people weapons. That are that are my weakness. Who would have thought? Who could have guessed? Welcome back, Grims. Um, I disabled this hat because it gets in the way a lot in tight quarters, but I, I decided to be a little spunky and put it back on, and then I got invaded and killed. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's it's been a good it's been a good day. Note to self: Don't touch that. Very very important. I completely backed into some. Like, just some fire cannonballs. That's what killed me. That dude completely boxed me in. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I hear a Red Eyes Knight. We're not quite done here yet. We still have a thing or two uh, to pick up. I think. I kind of need to get my bearings. Where the hell am I? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I did get everything. Yeah, it looks like I did. All right, never mind. All right, we can move forward. Actually, let me uh, let me drink more juice. Thank you, everyone who's here. I really appreciate that you're here. I'm glad that uh, that I'm not just talking to myself. And I hope you guys are having an okay time. If not, uh, if not laughing at my expense, then sharing in my victories. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's pick this up. Storied hero soul. This guy drops a full moon grass. We're going to spend a little juice. Even the odds a little bit. Or at least try. Beautiful. We're making it happen, guys. One embarrassing moment into the next. Is there anything over here? No. I heard something. I hear footfalls somewhere. Oh, okay, never mind. That's someone shooting at me. That's fine. Clean 
clean these guys up. Got some more half moon grass. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. We've got some dudes coming on the way here. We'll let them, uh, we'll let them find their way up to me. Go ahead. Come on up. Okay. A little more juice. And away we go! Oh, come on. Don't, don't do me like this. Okay, I gotta open the gate. But he's got company over there. Oh, God. We can't let him die. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong direction. He's not gonna help me either, is he? Okay, that's one down. That should have been a backstab. What the actual heck? That should have too, but whatever, they're both dead now. Beautiful, we did it. So much loot. All of it exceeds our item capacity. It could be worse. We got an official's cap. We've got a stone of ephemeral eyes. And what's this? Late moon grass. Okay, not too bad. Now let's find out where that guy went. Where is Ostrava? Hello. When it comes to aesthetic theme only, which souls is your favorite? Um, I want to say Bloodborne. I really like the, uh, the gothic horror that is just a sheepskin covering the Lovecraftian horror wolf uh, draped under it. Um, all the, 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 the game is also kind of a love letter to, um, to Berserk. So I think just in terms of art and aesthetic, Bloodborne has it for me. Uh, I'm also like a big weeb, or at least an ex-weeb, so I really like Sekiro as well. It's got that like Meiji period... Uh, Japan kind of style with a little bit of, you know, uh, supernatural stuff. They got some, some yokai and some uh, other types of demons in there. Uh, we, we picked up a few things off these fat officials, so we're going to go, we're going to backtrack a little bit and uh, take care of a, of a thing or two before we move on. There's actually quite a few things I want to do here in, in World 1 before we go to the boss, before we attempt the boss fight. So the first thing, we got uh, some some keys. We used the iron key ring to open this door. This was not accessible up until this point. And so now we are in a hidden chamber that uh, is also a dungeon. So there's uh, cells lined up. And here is another fat official. I'd like to backstab him. There we go. hit harder than I expect, all the time. I never expect that heavy a swing coming from them. And that one drops a bloody iron key. And so that'll be useful. Here's another crystal lizard. See if we can get anything off of it. Uh, let's see. Large hardstone shard. That is pretty useful. And a tower shield. We don't need that. So the purpose of coming in here was to uh, to free somebody. There's somebody who's been locked up in here for quite some time. Uh, in the opening cutscene, it talks about how uh, one of the twin fangs of, of Boletaria um, opened the rift. And am I... <laughs> am I stuck? I can break this. Yeah. Take that game. Um, broke the... Uh, created the rift that allowed others to come into Boletaria to do something about this problem. And uh, that, his name was uh, Valorfax of the Twin Fangs. Now, he has a brother. 
And his brother's name is Bior of the Twin Fangs. And Bior uh, is here. He's, he's, he's in this dungeon. We have only but to open his cell and let him oot. I just have to, have to find the darn thing. Ah, I think this is it. There we are. Here we have Bior. Ah, you killed that blooded sluggard for me. I'm called Bior, the elder of the Twin Fangs of Boletaria. I thank you. You deserve a handsome reward. Well, may I have none? <laughs> well, that's, that's very sad. I should sleep a while. That's a sad boy kind of moment. But, you know, he's taking a nap. We, we rescued him only for him to nap, and I feel like that's, uh... That's fitting. But maybe he'll come to our aid in a time of need. Who knows? The point is, he's free. He can leave whenever he wants, and that wasn't an option he had a moment ago. So, uh, let's pat ourselves on the back, everybody. Let's give ourselves the kudos we deserve. You know, we may, we may uh, die in hilariously embarrassing fashion to other players... Uh, we could do that all day, if we really wanted to, but, you know, despite all of that, just remember, you have a heart of gold. Don't let anyone take it from you. That's the lesson we have to take away from this game. Uh, so we also, we got the bloody iron key off of that last, uh, uh, Biff Steak Broke Knuckle. They're, they're actually called Fat Ministers, but, you know, I mean, you know, go off. Uh, oh, I guess there's one more thing I can, I can show off. So this is a one-to-one -one remake of Demon Souls on the PlayStation 3. Um, every, bit of, every bit of jank, every good thing, every bad thing. It, it's just, it is the PS3 version of Demon Souls with a, with a fancy new coat of paint. Except for one thing. This hidden wall wasn't here before. And this door wasn't here before either. This door is new. And there is stuff beyond this door. Uh, that will only make itself available if you have the correct key. And it took the community two and a half weeks to figure out what you needed to do. And I couldn't be prouder of the Souls community for being able to solve this riddle. Now, I think I'm backtracking. I think I am. I think I... Yeah. No, wait, no. I actually went the right way. Bully for me. Okay, so we found... This lone tower, separated from the rest of Boletaria, hidden behind a bloody iron key, all by itself. It's quiet, there don't appear to be any enemies here. It's just uh, sort of minding its own business, being a building. Until we showed up. Eat a bit more grass. If you disguise yourself, you can proceed. See, that is good advice. Now here we have a Ring of the Accursed, and a Ring of Magical Nature. Let's see what those are. The Ring of Magical Nature increases magical magic memory capacity. So I can, I can equip more spells if I wanted to. Uh, this ever-cold ring increases magic memory capacity. According to legend, cursed witches are born bearing this ring. The natives of uncivilized lands avoid these rings like the plague. Uh, you, how, do you, how, do you, how do you born with a ring? How does one do that? How do you do? Uh, become enemies' top attack priority. Uh, serpent ring crafted from thin gold. Lures enemies into attacking its bearer. Once fastened to the fingers of criminals, making them constant targets of stones and spit. Gross! Well, I don't really have any use for either of those. So we'll do a little bunny hop backwards to indicate that we're not interested. And we'll carry on. Uh, but that, that notification did say, if you disguise yourself, you can proceed. And so I will. Let me take, let me take the entire bedspread off my head. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay. Um, the hat that I'm supposed to put on was, was automatically put into storage when I picked it up, so I'm actually going to have to backtrack to the Nexus. Oh, all of that build-up. For what? For what, I ask you? All right, let's hoof our way back to the Nexus. Or at least try to. I'll try not to get lost. Oh, that's so disappointing. 
This sort of thing has happened so many times during this playthrough, and, and I've only myself to blame. I guess we can take the shield off. You didn't even get a look at what? What didn't you get a look at, Jif? Oh, is this Priscilla's tower? We're gonna come back. I, uh... <laughs> if, <laughs> if only he could cast Disguise Self. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have that spell. There is one to cloak yourself, but it's not quite the same. Not quite the same deal. I guess let's dump a bunch of stuff. Let's get rid of all these healing items. We'll keep these. We actually want these. Um... Put away these augites, these throwing doohickeys, newfangled corn swagglers, and the like. Uh, put away these shields. Okay, official, 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 perfect. Put away the blue eyes thing. All right, official's cap. Too bad demon souls happen before Priscilla. Yeah, this 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 game doesn't have a painted world. I'm indebted to you. But I feel like the Painted World equivalent is the 5-3 boss fight against Maiden Astraea and Garl Vinland. It sort of is like an area where all the things that are unwanted by the world gather. And uh, there's, there's aborted babies in, in the blood water down there. Um, right, there's something else that we didn't do. No, you know what, we'll wait. We'll save that. Let's repair our gear. Let's not run around like a chicken with its head cut off. That guy did a number. That scraping spear is the business. You come back alive. I mean, if you want to, the Valley of Defilement is awful, Joe. It's just awful. It's stone cold awful. You have to like slowly make your way down a pit. <laughs> Same. You have to slowly make your way down this pit. Uh, and then when you get to the bottom of the pit, it's just like a giant marsh, like a bog of poo water that you can't roll through, and everything else can move through it fine. Finishing up with a boss fight that by itself is pretty easy, uh, but the poo water has turned into blood water, and it plagues you when you make contact with it, and like I said, there's a bunch of aborted babies in there, and they will, uh, they will eat you. Or whatever it is demonic aborted babies do. It's not my place to judge. So, we'll try this again. With much less of the pomp and circumstances last time. I apologize. I have not so much brains as earwax. One might say that I am indeed a beetle-headed flax wench. A pox on me and my family. So, let's try this again here. Over here. Let's, we'll start with the body. Put on the official's clothing. Why do I keep doing that? The official's gloves, the official's leggings, and finally, the official's hat. <laughs> and doing that has opened sesame my, my way up here. This guy's non-hostile so long as I wear the costume. As soon as I take it off or I start attacking him, he will become hostile. Uh, so let's do that. There we go. All right, let's put our diaper back on. And finally, at long last. Heavens, you, you, you came to save me. We found Yuria. Thank you. No, I am fine. With a little rest, I can soon walk. All right. You go on ahead. I do not wish to be a dead weight. Okay. So we've taken care of that. That has been taken care of. So now Yuria will return to the Nexus and uh, allow us to trade demon souls for spells. Uh, Sage Freight could also do that, but she has different spells. Sometimes using the same soul, so I've been not spending them up until this point. Uh, both because I don't quite remember what goes where, 
but also I just wanted to make sure that I had, uh, had options. So we're actually going to do some world tendency uh, uh, screwy stuff here. We're going to do that right now. So let's... I feel tempted to spell, spend those 30,000 souls, but let's not worry about that for now. Uh, first thing we want to do is go to World 1-1, one, one, and now we're going to uh, uh, use Stones of Ephemeral Eyes to give us our body back. And I don't have them equipped. There we go. Stones of Ephemeral Eyes gives us our body back, and we're going to intentionally kill ourselves. In this world, I know, the scandal. We're going to intentionally die here. Just trying to find the closest cliff I can. And make the world pure black world tendency. So that's one. Let's use another one. Now if my math is right, I have just enough eyes to, just enough eyes to pull this off. Oops, let me grab this. I accidentally ran past. I haven't been very funny tonight. Uh, I, I just, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm doing my best, but I hope it's been uh, at least maybe entertaining, maybe a little bit uh, relaxing. Uh, I'm just, I'm in, I'm in that kind of zone right now. Usually, I'm with the one-liners and the puns and the weird stream of consciousness stuff, but uh, today, today's been kind of hectic, so I'm uh, kind of low-keying it right now. Let's use our last stone of ephemeral eyes. And uh, let's uh, let's put a stop to this. And we'll grab our we'll grab our souls again. Yeah, Jeffrey, I really enjoyed this game. And now that I understand it better, like before, I, I would I would tell you that Demon Souls is the hardest of them. It's not. Uh, now that I've played this game quite a bit, um, you know, I I understand that uh, it definitely has its issues because I mean it is a, it, not only is it the first Souls game ever, uh, it's also you know, a one-to-one -one remake of the first Souls game ever. So there's definitely some issues, right? There's a bit of jank. And uh, you'll run into some gimmick boss fights. You'll run into some places where the stages are really hard, but the bosses are easy. And some places where the stages are really easy and the bosses are hard. Um, but I'd say it's shorter than a lot of other Souls games. And so long as you don't, uh, so, so long as you don't make a glass cannon build with the intention of going on to New Game Plus, uh, you should be all right. So let's take a look at our world tendency. As you can see on the left, Bolataria's world tendency is pure black. Welcome back to the stream, Frenchie. You were missed. So now, now that things are like this, let's return. In order to manipulate world tendency, you have to do everything you want to do without going back to the Nexus. So, what I just did was I returned to the Nexus for the purpose of locking in the tendency. So now that the tendency is, world, uh, is pure black, any actions that I take to move it towards pure white will not count unless I go back to the Nexus. So, I have to stay here for now. But I also have to be a bit careful, because everything is more... Yeah, yeah, yes. Everything hurts a lot more. Can you not? So this might take me a few tries because I don't... <laughs> I'm not feeling too confident here. Let's, let's try to do some spells. Let's try some spells out. I know there's, there's quite a few of these... Oh, geez. With a little luck, I can line them up. Nope. What did Jif do? With the uh, with the Jif Gasm emote? Alright, let's drink some juice. Drink some spice. 
I should stop calling it juice. I mean, just calling it what it is, fresh spice, is kind of memeier than uh, calling it juice. Oh, oh, she's on the other side this time. Troll. Now this one I think is a one-hit kill. I think this time if she hits me, I'm dead immediately. So I'm gonna try to uh, get some, get a little bit of space going here. And magic damage doesn't do much. Good to know. Oh, I see. Damn. Okay, well that, that came on just in time. Probably better to two-hand this. Now luckily you can really, you can bait backstabs pretty easily against Meralda. But there's always the, there's always the chance that you'll make a mistake. Okay, she's down. Oh, holy hemorrhoids. Okay, she's out. She's out of the picture. She's, I got the guillotine axe. So that technically moved World Tendency back up to, I think, 40% uh, white. <laughs> Getting shanked by a bish with a beehive. Yeah, that's the story of Meralda. And I took her clothes, too. I'm wearing them right now, minus the diaper. Minus the beehive diaper. Uh, excuse you. Let's see here. So now, uh, now we want to beeline to World 1-3 again. We're going to have to run all the way through World 1-1, World 1-2, uh, back to World 1-3. Ah, I wish you wouldn't. Uh, but I took out the dragon, so there won't be a dragon blowing fire across the bridge. Uh, it should be relatively easy. If I die, it's fine. Um, I'm going to have to do the run again, but that won't mess up the tendency. Only returning to the Nexus will, will mess with it. Uh, and so this is something that I do. Um, once you defeat Black Phantom Meralda, uh, it's a good idea to run back to 1-3. And uh, because the, the world tendency is pure black... Oh, I'll show you what happened to the deer, Frenchie. You're, you're going to see it. Uh, something called a Primordial Demon is going to spawn. It only shows up in Pure Black World Tendency. And they drop colorless demon souls, which we want uh, for our weapon. Okay, yep, yep, just don't, don't, <clears throat> don't worry about all that. I try not to... Not to quarrel with any of these guys, just run right past them. Fuck these guys, they're a pain in the butt. The stage is so much simpler without the, the concern of, of a fire-breathing dragon. Setting the entire thing on fire every five seconds. Much lower stress. It is pure black world tendency, so these easy enemies actually... Yeah, these easy enemies actually do pretty respectable damage including the Blue-Eyed Knight. They still die pretty quickly, but their output is uh, nothing to sneeze at. So I am, I am taking them seriously. Hitting a wood thing on, with fire sets it on fire. Yeah, yeah, the attention to detail is great. I don't know if you were around for the Storm Ruler fight, but it's, like, it's a fight that takes place uh, during a storm, and you fight a giant manta ray, and when the manta ray is over you, the rain doesn't pass through it. You're actually sheltered from the rain. It's pretty wild. The doggos are here? Okay. Get out of here, doggo. Is there only one? Should be two. Where did the second doggo go? Is it behind me? It is. You sneaky, sneaky little dog. Okay. Let's go. It's actually not too far into the stage. Because I opened the big gate, I can actually shortcut a lot of this a lot of this level. 
Excuse me. Come on. How dare you? How dare you set a man on fire in the prime of his life? And that actually really hurt. I need to stop underestimating that. There's the guy we rescued. He's cool. He's just going to trot up and down uh, until we beat this stage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. What was nice timing? Fill me in. I'm uh <laughs> I'm on motor mouth mode and I I didn't uh didn't I didn't get it. Oh, he's still alive. Oops. It's not one hit kills anymore. Oh, the dog. Yeah. Okay, there it is. That's what happened to the deer. It got bored by that thing. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna make our way over to it right now. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, Frenchie. That's all. Uh, that's all I gotta say. What the heck? Trim around the hedges a little bit. Ah, I didn't want to kill it. That's a shame. Well, I was going to show off how harmless it is. It's not the only one we'll run into. We'll run into more. But, uh... Jesus. I was going to show off how, how harmless it, it essentially is. Um, it will strike out an attack, and it does hurt, but, like, it's so slow, and it can't move. Uh, and, and you saw I killed it by accident. So, that was a, uh... That was a primeval demon, is what that was called. Or a primordial demon. One of those. Primeval or primordial. One of those two words. You can pick which one you like best. And uh, that's what that was. So uh, that was all the Black World tendencies. The heck was that? Is... Oh. Is Ostrava fighting? He is. He's not supposed to do that. And I, I can't help him because he's in the way. So whatever, man. Shoot your shot. Yeah, you can't jump in this game. You can, like, vault over some, like, th three railings in the game you can vault over. But there is no jumping. Um, if, you're, if you're clever, you can roll across certain gaps, uh, depending on the structure of them. Rack, are you still here, buddy? Did I put you to sleep? Okay. <laughs> oh, baby, am I ever here. All right, glad to see you here, man. Glad to see I didn't scare you off. We're about to fight another boss. We've done all the housekeeping we need to do. Now, as you can see, the world tendency is back up to white. Not pure white, but white. Fragile, depressed phone, Uncle Knox. Ah, uh, I'm assuming that's the dog clip. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for making that clip. All clips are welcome. All clips are treated equally. Oh yeah, no matter. Do what you got to do. Absolutely, that house needs to be taken care of. Uh, but I'm I'm glad that you have me on for sure. Uh, I I've been looking forward to having you uh, on one of my streams. So. There's everything I could ask for and more. The dog ran into the fire, and the world kept turning. I didn't leave any sleep over it at all. Yeah, these wolves have a lot more floof on them than, uh... You behave yourself, okay? Picking weird-ass fights with people. Uh, alright, so now we're gonna go to the boss. It's, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a gauntlet. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. That's why I have the shield out. It's, uh, not a lot of confidence happening here. I'm gonna start picking up what they drop. Uh, she, uh, she made a good clip. Good show. That editing prowess. Okay, it's gonna get pretty dicey going, going forward. So I'm gonna have to be extra careful. 
Another first try coming our way? Oh, I hope so. I certainly hope so. I'm gonna try to use the scaffolding here as as cover. It's not gonna last long. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting shot every which way. Let's uh let's lure this other guy over. Come on. No, you're just uh yeah, okay. That's better. See if we can't take these guys out from a distance. Because I just I just really don't want to deal with them. The second I get close to them, those red eye knights up there are gonna come after me. And it's just not the kind of life I want right now. It's not the kind of life I want for myself. These are all all three of these are spear knights. And the spear knights will stun lock you. And there's nothing you can do. So your best your best option is just to attack from a distance. And I'm going to try to do that. And here they come. Why isn't my lock-on working? Why isn't my lock-on working? Okay. Thank you. Okay, yep, that's, that's not going to work. Uh, that, that, that was a failed attempt. So, let's, uh, let's try something else. Okay, one down. Crumbs. They, they hurt so much. Oh god, come on. This stupid hat is getting in the way. No, stop it. Okay, come on. Let's go. One more. That was a poor decision. You made one. You made one poor decision. And your mom got scared. And you had to visit your auntie and uncle in Bolotaire. Rhea. There's one more. There's one more. I only took out two of them. Got to get that last one. Got to get that last one out of there, otherwise they'll multiply. They'll spread all over the all over the place. Start finding them in all kinds of weird, weird positions. Can I get a backstab on this boy? Do you think? I should. That should have been one. I think if I just keep circling him, I'll just take him out like this. Come on. I got impatient. Nope. Okay, boss time. Let's go fight a boss. What do you guys say? Let me make a day of it. <laughs> he was more impatient. Yep. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to fight the penetrator. Are you ready to fight the penetrator? Are you guys prepared for what the penetrator has in store? For you, and me, and everyone else. Let's go, baby. <laughs> the Broke Knuckle Special. Well, true to his name, he's just, he just comes out the gate penetrating. He penetrates for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. He's about that penetrating life. He is a lanky boy. Hey, Bior! Bior the Twin Fang! It's that guy! Alright, well let's, uh, let's calm down a little bit and, uh... Try to cast some spells. Bior, why aren't you helping me anymore? I gotta be careful with this. I need to make sure I don't attack him in a straight line. Oh shit. I need to make sure that I don't attack in a straight line, otherwise I'll hit Bior and he might turn on me. Bior, my guy, could you maybe like do what a what a partner in a Souls boss fight does and get some heat off me? Yeah, I do. Could you help? Do something. My guy. Okay, he's doing something. That's right, yeah, keep him. Keep him pinned. Keep him pinned. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's not keeping him pinned. Okay, Penetrator is down. It's a much different boss fight without Bior there. But that's, uh, that's the end of that chapter.
Yeah, very easy. As, as Rack would say, easy qual. I still don't really know what that means, but you got it. Whew. All right, so that was, uh, that was the penetrator. Fine work back there. Then again, how could a demon ever stand up to a bona fide a knight? <laughs> oh, the easy qual emote got made. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Glad to see uh, it. You uh, go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. Rest your weary head, Bior. You've done well. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little something before I uh, go back to the Nexus and kill myself. <laughs> Sounds so much worse than it's supposed to. Uh, get these guys out of the way here. But all the boss fights in Boletaria, all of the bosses used to be knights. They used to be knights in the Boletarian court. They used to protect the king. Uh, I don't know if he had a queen, but they used to protect the, the king and prince of Boletaria. They are Phalanx, the bosses are Phalanx, the Tower Knight, and the Penetrator. And those three black phantoms ahead of us there, they're all the black phantom forms of those bosses. I believe on the left is uh, the bow user who becomes Phalanx. On the right is the uh, Penetrating Sword user, who used to be the Penetrator boss that we just fought. And the one in the middle, holding the Scraping Spear and the Tower Shield, is the black phantom version of the Tower Knight. And we will fight them. Just not right now. <laughs> Just not not at this moment. Not today. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we got the we got the silver demon soul. Let's head back to the Nexus. We have quite a bit to do. Uh, am I pressing my luck if I try to spend my souls? Do I wanna give it a go? It's tempting. Let's repair our gear. Do come back alive. It is very, very tempting. Oh, I'll what store said. my stuff and uh, I'll take care of some things. I don't need the binded hat. I don't need the official's cap anymore. I don't need the assassin's mask. Um, I don't need any of this stuff anymore. So I'll just keep what, I, what I'm currently wearing. And that should probably help a little bit. Uh, a day may come when an hour of wolves and shattered shields, when the age of men comes crashing down, but it is not this day. You're right. You're right. That was beautiful. You know, uh, hearing you say something like that, it, it feels like royalty has returned. You know, it's like a like a return of the king kind of kind of feeling. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I feel you. Put the guillotine axe away. Do you guys say guillotine or guillotine? How how do you guys pronounce that word? Try to <laughs> try to type it out with letters. You say Gi? Oh, Bork's got Lord of the Rings going at this very moment. Hello again. You saved me from great agony. Oh, what just happened here? Oh, hey, 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 thanks for subbing, Frenchie. Welcome to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. I'm, uh, I'm workshopping that title. Should you have demon souls, um, it'll be something else later. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the squad. Very happy that you sub, very happy that you're here. You're my kind of people. And you're gifting subs too? You're the MVP. I missed three subs? Who else did I miss? I got so like into this that I didn't even I didn't even see. Let me scroll up. Who else subbed? I'll beat them up right now. Which was the other sub? I, I see Frenchie. I, I don't see the uh I don't see the other one. <laughs> was it Grems? Who was it? I'll come at you in the night. Oh, you gifted Rack one. Awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Rack, welcome to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. I'm going to workshop that title. I'll, it'll, it'll be different later. Are you I wouldn't beat you, you up, Gremlins. You not, for sure? all the, not for all the tea and... 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 and uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I, I wouldn't do it, though. <laughs> I promise you that. Okay, what do we have here? We have Relief, we have Curse Weapon, and we have Ignite. I think, I think I want this one. To be perfectly real with you guys, I think I want Ignite. 
It's a nice little cl close range spell. It's a nice little cap to my combos. Whap, 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 boom. You're messing with some hot ass ignite. So we'll go for it. We'll trade the, the giant spider soul for the ignite spell. And uh, we have four spell memory, so we, we're going to get rid of enchant weapon. And we're going to slap uh, ignite up on there. So now we have a second spell, finally, right? Like it, after so much time, we can do this. Yeah, boy! Look at this. That's that's the that's the business. That is the stuff. So let's talk to Sage Frake and see if there's anything that he can give us. Bravo! You have brought more demon souls to me. I sure have. Thank you. You're a fine magician. Let me pass on further arts of the wand. The broke knuckles. That's going to be your squad title. <laughs> Oh, I love human it. potential is great. Man, I drop into your stream, I, I, I give one weird meme name, and it sticks. It sticks like super glue. Uh, we got Poison Cloud, we got Death Cloud, we got Fire Spray. We can't get Fire Spray anymore. We spent the Hard Demon Soul. We don't get the Pew Pew. I think we're going to get Poison Cloud. You like the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad? <laughs> I'll let you in on something. Uh, the joke is I'm never going to change it. Every time someone subs to me, I'm gonna welcome into the pee pee poo poo squad and tell them it's a work you know, it's a working title. I gotta workshop it. Forever. That's my plan. Alright, we'll get poison cloud too. Bring me more demon souls when you can. I patiently await you, my fine magician friend. Alright, cool. I am a magician friend now. That's the greatest thing ever. That is so great. So great I actually there forgot I to know. equip it. Uh, I don't think we need protection anymore. That, that's for babies. And it only lasts 40 seconds anyway. Now we got Poison Cloud. Ha 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 Yeah, boy! Biff Steak would be proud. I, I, I hope so. I'm, I'm going over here to cast it. I don't want to kill my friends. Yet. There you go. Poison Cloud. Does it poison me too? It doesn't. I'm immune because I have a giant bedsheet wrapped around my head. Oh, it's it's about to get a little bit more dynamic up in here. That's what I'm talking about. We are, ooh, ooh, peanut butter and ooh. Okay, so now let's risk the stream crashing. Where is she? Where's where's my little harbinger of destruction? There she is. Can I, could I trouble you for some levels, please? Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. Soul okay. Mind, key to life so, Caesar. we want to go Lost, Hammy McHam. Oh, we're not going to stop there. Trend we're getting through to the risk when we came in. We knew that that was a possibility. So, we'll just spend... You know what? Let's, let's, let's pop all of our consumables right now. Except for the boss souls, of course. For whatever reason, when I talk to the uh, the maiden the, the maiden in black, it crashes the stream. So it's a uh, it's a weird, finicky little thing that I don't know how to control or stop. But now we have basically double the souls again. So please don't crash it twice. Uh, we'll we'll put more in endurance now. There we go. Let's see here. Um, I thought it was a towel. It might be. It might be a towel or a bed sheet. It could be both. It could be several towels and bed sheets tied together. Uh, most creative characters don't like let you make a fat fuck. Yeah, I hope, I'm pretty sure Cyberpunk will. Um, yeet. 22 viewers. Hey, welcome. Thank you for being here. It says 16 on my end, but... Uh, hey. Finished? Welcome aboard. Yeah, now it says 12. <laughs> Well, it was nice knowing you. Okay, so we've done this. Now it's time to uh, to kill ourselves once more. Welcome one and all. I appreciate anyone who's in here. You're about to see what may be uh, the, most, the most painful leg of this journey yet. I, uh, I intend to fight the old monk. Yes, you heard that right. That means like nothing to anybody. <laughs> but old monk boss fight is coming up next.
And I don't even have to retrieve those souls. There weren't even enough of them. Not even enough for me to care about. So, what we have left in the game at this point... I'm actually, I should stop streaming now, but we're going to make one attempt at the old monk before I get off. Um, the King's Tower is the final stage of the game. Beat the King's Tower and you beat the game. Pee -pee, <laughs> the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad welcomes you to the Nexus. <laughs> um, Stonefang Tunnel still needs its boss feet, uh, defeated. Tower of Latria still needs its boss fight defeated. And uh, the Valley of Defilement and the, the, the Shrine of Storms are finished. We're done with those. So, yeah, we need to take every boss's foot. Defeat all of them. Give me those feet. So we're looking at three more boss fights in this game. Until, until the end of everything. <laughs> Old drunk got him! Pew, pew, pew! Um, I haven't done any of the, you know what, just, just for the, just for the sake of it, just for the heck of it, let's do the pure white world tendency, uh, stuff for this, for this place. Or at least one of them. Yeah, we'll just do one of them. I don't mind streaming a few minutes extra, it's fine. <laughs> More like old skunk, get fucked, nerd. <laughs> Three little words. Get fucked, nerd. We're just gonna run past these guys. We have no business with them. We don't care about them at all. In fact, ignition. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Ignition. Get out of my face. You don't know. Ignition is a is a sweet. It's a sweet cherry on top of the sundae. It's a handsome spell. And it doesn't cost too much either. <laughs> Get out of my house! And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't use too much mana. It, it's, it's, it's handsome. I mean, the trade-off, obviously, is it doesn't travel, but, uh, you know. This is the boss you left off at? What does that mean? Did you, have you played Demon Souls? Yeah, it's too short. You know what? I don't gotta put up with you. Why, what is my camera doing? Okay, I don't. I don't have to put up with you. Oh yeah, this this place is awful. I I, I fought the man he, the man eater fight on stream. It took me two tries because they knocked me off the bridge. But it's it's the worst. It's the hardest fight, hands down. I mean, maybe maybe the final boss of this game is a little bit harder. But uh, that sh short of that. It's, it's the hardest fight in the game. I, I hate it. Make sure he's not stalking me. He kind of is. Yeah, he is. I gotta fight him. Goodbye. I mean, even if you're a veteran, it's still a struggle. You know? This part is, uh, this part's pretty tough. There's a lot going on. So we came here for a reason. It is pure white world tendency. And I, I probably won't do any of the tendency events uh, after this point. For at for this world, at least. But I figure I should at least come up here and, uh, and get the key. And uh, see about that. Ah, heck. We'll go a little bit further with it. The night is young, as they say. Okay, so we have the, the the cell key. That that was the the only way to get this key is that pure white world tendency. So we're gonna roll to our death now. The first step is a doozy. So you basically you got to the beginning of three two and we're just like nope, <laughs> never mind, no thanks. See if I remember my way back to uh, to that character. It should be fine. Oh, you lent it to a friend and never got it back. Uh, well, I mean, you know, Demon Souls is the gift that uh, that hurts everybody. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe you losing it was uh, wasn't the worst thing ever. You've, you've caused that person to suffer mercilessly. So we're just going to quickly go to... There, there's a prisoner 
in this place that has been dying to be freed. And it's impossible to free him until you get pure white world tendency in the Tower of Latria and go up that, that spiral staircase and grab that key. And we have that key now. So we're going to quickly go and rescue him. Or at least attempt to. We're going to quickly go and set him free. Um, so, yeah, okay, that's a good question, Grams. I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, in, in Demon Souls, there's a tendency system. So when you die in body form, uh, the tendency shifts towards black, which makes the enemies harder, but their drops are better. But basically, the more you die, the harder the game gets. Uh, the more bosses you fight, the lighter the world gets. And if you kill yourself in the Nexus, uh, there's no change in tendency. That's sort of a way to, to, contr like to, to manipulate the tendency levels. I think it's here that I want to be. Um, so when you kill two bosses in a world, that's that's guaranteed uh, white world tendency. And when you die in body form, that's guaranteed black world tendency. And you may notice the discrepancy there. There's only so many bosses, right? So it's a lot easier to get the world to black than it is to get it to white. So you kind of want to do your white world tendency events the second you're able to. And so this is Lord Rydell. Why, thank you. Thank you, kind soul. Please, take this fine piece oh, I'm of glad work. to hear it, Jeff. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. I have it. no use for it now. Uh, and thus begins my final, eternal rest. Okay, we got a dull rat's ring from him. But that's not all that we got. Um, there, were, there used to be rubble here, blocking this. Now that we're in pure white world tendency, that rubble is gone. So, in addition to the game getting easier and harder uh, with world tendency shifts, uh, certain things happen. Uh, certain uh, blocked areas become unblocked, certain NPCs show up with quests, certain enemies show up that weren't there before. So, uh, it's all quite missable. I agree about being into this. I agree about being into this. I appreciate all the explanations, not to mention the overall dope vibe. Thank you, Rack. Big ups, big ups. I, I feel uh, very complimented by that. You're good people. Uh, lore question: Do people die in this game? Um, as part of the story, yes. A few, a few of the NPCs do die as a matter of course uh, through the story. One in particular cannot be avoided. Um, this game, this game really, do they stay dead? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and you can kill, you can kill your, uh, your, uh, Nexus NPCs, like the guy who stores items for you or the guy who repairs your gear. You can kill those NPCs and they don't come back and, uh, and they're just gone and you're screwed for the whole playthrough. And I'm not, I'm not understanding you. Lay it on me, man. Help me know. In Dark Souls, people die but come back over and over again until they hollow. Oh, I see. No, it's not like that in this game. Um, so instead of having the dark sign, I have um, a Nexial binding. This is a cursed uh, object put on me to keep me from being able to escape the Nexus. So it's not, it's not the same thing as a, a genetic curse, like the undead curse. People don't hollow in this game, but they do seem to have black phantom versions of themselves once they've died, uh, a, you know, once in their actual lives. And the black phantom version, I guess, is kind of the same as a, as a hollow. It, it is uh, always, um, it's always aggressive. Okay, so I think we've gotten everything here, but there's still a bit more. And since we killed the man eater. I think we can uh, we can get another crystal lizard, so maybe it would not be too big a mistake to put the thief ring on for right now. And I'm pretty close to being able to uh, to wear this gear set without needing the uh, the ring of great strength anymore. So that's exciting. That's that's something to look forward to. <laughs> it's the little things, you know. You, you got to appreciate what you got. Uh, okay, so this is the correct space. This is the correct spot. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which side it's on, so I'm just going to quickly look. The lore of Souls games, and especially Bloodborne, is dark, sad, and extremely interesting. I agree, and the lore of this game is too. It's not as well hidden, you know? 
Um, but it is, it is, it is there. Like that area that I just opened up, uh, the gear pieces I got were the Venerable Sage's hood and like the Venerable Sage's set and the three-cornered hat, which is Yuria's hat and Sage Frake's uh, armor, respectively, which suggests that they were either held here or they died here. But they're bound to the Nexus, so they can't go. All right, I don't think it's this side. I think it's the other side. So let's uh, let's get rid of the corpse pile over here. Oh. Can the bind of the Nexus ever be removed? Yes. Um, I strongly suspect it's the Maiden in Black who decides who and who doesn't get trapped in the Nexus. She kind of works for and against the big bad in this game. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to tell where her allegiances are. Um, it's a whole thing. So hopefully that crystal lizard didn't get scared away. It didn't. Okay. Hello. Hello, little one. Because the crystal lizards in this world give me the items I need to upgrade my Uchi Katana. Now, is this the side with the hole in it or is it the other side? It's, yeah, it, it's this side. That is the side with the hole in it, for sure. Oh, it's none of these. It's this door. Okay, this door opens now. So we basically, we unlock a whole new uh, floor of cells in the Tower of Latria. In the Prison of Hope, is what this place is called. Very fitting. So hope... I know we've got some squiddy boys on the floor, but this is all brand new stuff. So this person has a stone of ephemeral eyes on them, which I will never turn my nose down at. This door will not open. I'm trying to be really careful not to uh, get in the way of the uh, of the of the mind flare. Oops! Can I just aim at it properly though? There we go. <laughs> so hope, much cells. Yeah, so there's a there's a mind flare over there, and there's a mind flare camera over there. I'm gonna get its attention. Oh, never mind. It doesn't seem to want my attention. All right, well I'm just gonna I'm gonna spam spells at it then. There you go. A little bit of that. Uh, okay, so this is a break in the cell structure. It's powerhouse of the cell. I feel like one of these dudes is going to try and have at me, but I guess I don't have to worry about it right now. Most of these doors don't even open. Alright. I thought you were going to get its attention by saying, Hey, asshole! No, no. This is not, this is not a samurai playthrough. Oh, tough tits for you. I got that swing out. You can't gobble my face now. Big sad. Big sad, boo-hoo. There's one more. There's none more. This door is locked as well. Are there keys on the walls here? Sometimes there's keys on the walls. But there's not. I, okay, I remember how this goes. Fret not, gentle chat. Uh, okay, there's an uncomfortable chair in here. That's what I would have in a prison cell if I uh, if I wanted to have one. More spice, never too uh, never too late for spice. That's what I always say. Legendary here. So and the the key. There's one more key, and that was it. Now we can open the rest of the doors. Get what's behind them. And then I will fight the old monk, as promised, as advertised. Oh, there's a guy in here. Yep, see you in a few minutes, Jeff. I'll just be here, uh, 
stabbing dudes and checking toods. Some loot in here. Pop soul and mercury stone chunk. I'm getting a lot of mercury stones. How that hat passes through the iron bars, that's not possible. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's it's a it's a ghostly bedsheet. It's a good thing there are no horses in this game. There's the rogue set. I don't know who the rogue set belongs to, but I have my suspicions. I think the rogue set is worn by people who work for uh, that society that tries to uh, kill anyone who knows about the soul arts. I think that's who wears it. Well, this guy, uh, this guy's seen better days. More Mercury Stone. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Mercury Stone is used to apply a poison effect to your weapons. There's a lot of poison going on in here. I think that's everything. There might be one, one, or, one or two more cells along the way here. You're going to head out? Alright, catch you later, Frenchie. Thanks for showing up, man. I appreciate you. And Grim. Take good care. I'm just about ready to wrap up, but uh, I'm just going to make this boss fight attempt. Okay, that was everything. I'm just going to kill myself really quick, and uh, cause we don't need these 3,000 souls. We don't need them. Now, how do I... How do I do a die? How do I go ahead and make myself a funeral? What if this is the run? <laughs> Well, I have a lot of hiking to do to get back to the boss fight, so it's easier to just uh, drop off a cliff. That almost sounded like the Roblox oof. That sound? That you just threw me off a cliff pale, how dare you sound? Okay. This is it, fellas and fellettes. We're going to do it. We're going to fight the old monk. Now, the old monk is a boss fight that's really neat, and it's also the way I got this hat. The old monk is not the boss. The old monk summons real players to be its champion. Get a bit of a hype up here. I'll try to get up as quickly as possible. But we're definitely going to experience a little bit of resistance. Not just these celebrity demons. There's two black phantom mind... Yep, there we go. There's two black phantom mind flayers. Now, uh, win or lose, I'll, I'll end the stream after this fight. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best here. We're gonna use all the tricks that we picked up. And I really hope... <laughs> I really hope I make it to the top without dying. That would be ideal. Now, people who've been watching the Demon Souls stream since the beginning have seen this cutscene before. This happened when I was summoned to be the boss's champion, and I died spectacularly. I hope it won't be the same this time around. And if you're wondering what that thing wrapped around my head was, well, the mystery solved, guys. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you know, this is this is why you don't this is why no one shows you how the sausage is made. Because it's just it's just bad news all the way down. Black Phantom dim some nuts. Okay. Sure. Dim some nuts. Hold on. I need to turn off the helmet. It's too tight. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll um we'll tackle the old monk next time. That's that's fine. <laughs> God damn it. Oh man. Not the best ending. Not the best ending to a stream I've ever seen. But it's fine. 
<sighs> okay, well, we we made less progress this time than we did last time, but I feel like we got more done. Bit <laughs> close. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll be I'll be streaming the the hopefully the conclusion to this playthrough uh, next Tuesday. So for now, um, that's that's pretty much gonna do it. Uh, I appreciate everyone who came. I appreciate everyone who stayed even more. If you like me, please follow me. If you loved me, uh, please subscribe to me. Uh, I'll be streaming again on uh, Thursday at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, it'll be Ghost of Tsushima, and uh, I'll be doing the same on Sunday. Uh, so everyone, uh, please take good care of yourselves. Uh, I hope that you have a uh, a nice a nice week. Hope the week treats you nicely. That's my hope. And uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, please be sure to check out Rack. Uh, follow him out. Follow him as well. <laughs> check him out and follow him. Uh, Rack nineteen twenty. Uh, I don't have fancy bots to to put that in the chat just yet, but uh, please check him out. Also, please check out Violet Knight. Uh, it's the word Violet and then N Y T E. Uh, she does really awesome streams. She, uh, she's streaming Earthbound right now, several times, in fact, uh, in Japanese. It's really cool. Uh, so please follow both of those channels, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. That's it. Stream's over. Everybody out. <laughs>